Welcome back to Darkest Dungeon 2, everybody. Boy, it's been a struggle. Welcome back. But that'll give me a little spirit boost right there. Starfisher with the 11 years. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's, sorry, that's crazy, man. Holy shit. Wait, no, I'm not doing the math right, am I? 10? No, it's 10, 10 years in one month. <laughs> God damn it. I'm not going to reset the VOD. I'm going to let you enjoy my excellent math skills. Thanks for the support. I built a worse team than this before chat made me realize that it was a fool's errand to try to bring out the duelist and the runaway, despite having very good quirks. Obviously here with the natural swing and the bloodthirsty, I really wanted to try to make it work. And as you can see, I even went so far as to give them their paths and skills, but now nah, we got to recognize the, uh, the struggle here with the damage over time and the absolute need for at least the Plague Doctor to address that. We've kind of got a backup plan here in the form of Suffer, which we're not going to quite yet equip, Welcome but more back. than likely going to get that in the mix later on once we're able to master it because DOT has been destructive lately. You came here seeking solace, but found stagnation instead counting to base 11 yeah or in base 11 right? there we go i live in my own little mathematical the universe dude more harshly on the far side of the brook surprising no man at arms for tank and stress heal it's been weird the how little i've wanted to bring him out lately a lot of it has had to do with his quirks i think today he had like soft or head in the sand or something like that he's had a lot of them that are bad enough to make me want to leave him on the bench but he, yeah, no, he absolutely remains, in my opinion, one of the best at those two roles in particular, the tank and the stress heal. I don't think there's anybody better than him for having both of those in one character. Both of those. That's how I say that. I'm really just crunching the numbers really well today. He's going through some stuff. He's had a rough go of it, man. Taking the brunt the last, like, what, three years? Let us hope to finish this quickly. Hell, call it eight. Going on nine. Strength dwindles. The Awakened Shrub. First time gifter. Appreciate that. Meower. Welcome on into the squad. Bear hugs for the newest member of the Bear Pile. Thank you for the support. And that right there is a nice little confidence boost, too. Not quite an 11 slash 10 year confidence boost, but it's something. Push on to the inn. Rest and resupply await you. All right. Cracks, knuckles. Let's goddamn do this, dude. I'm tired of dying. I don't want to die anymore. We would come here in summers of years gone hmm. to write, think, and rest. All right. Pretty clear to me that this is going to be a Vestal replacement early on, so... In the shadows. Go ahead and knock that out. The hunter is here. Also have the pick me ready to go here. Ooh, and a pretty simple reward for two mastery points. Keep the light above 40. Can do. The farms and fields of our kingdom overrun with putrescence and rot. Insta pick those glimmers, of course. Remember where the bastard's beacon is. And then flapjack time. Everybody loves flapjacks. Get ourselves some food. And then what pet for the day? Hmm. Not a lot of shuffling again. Crocodilian. More than likely left on the bench. Rabbit obviously tempting, having picked up the griddle this early on. Crimson tick. I feel like I haven't really gotten a lot of value out of the blood lately. I think it's probably going to be rabbit again. Anything that lets us travel further yeah. is worth the cost. Never a bad choice. Especially with the food gear immediately. Only death for those who would seek to stifle us. Very last call for the pick me here if you'd like to be chosen. We're making quick work One of the first in. When survival demands it. Let's go ahead and take our safety upgrade and suppose I could do suffer right away. Certainly a safe play. I'm tempted actually to upgrade the Inspiring Tune, yeah. Let's really go with the stuff that I think is going to put us in the best position. 
Heat shield. Not super necessary, but it's a decent balance at least there. Hang on to that for now, obviously, and then we'll see who's going to join us for the day. If Bacana, lucky you. First time tuning in, Moobot sees fit to toss you in the squad. Is that an L or an I in the beginning of your, of your name there, buddy? Well, hopefully. <laughs> it's just going to be a right aligned name forever. That's hilarious. All right. And then we're going to draw our stagecoach. Each improvement, a new variable in the equation of your fate. Meower? Oh, actually, no. Hold on. That's got to be a, that's a rabbit name. The meows of the rabbit. Got a lot of uh, first timers getting selected today. And Citizen Sticks will be our stage coach. Also pretty appropriate in my opinion. As an L. Okay, gotcha. Noted. In you go. As yet another indelible trinket graces our presence here. We'll probably stick with the flashbang. Otherwise, not too much adjustment here. Good stuff. I think we're ready to hit it, man. Let's go. Off of the feeder. Keep that torch light up. Let's get a good start. No damn well we ain't going for that harvest, child. Don't even think about it. Stop making those kind of decisions, dude. It's a, it's a totally different world here now. The rancid crop grows unchecked and abhorrent. We'll fight the creature, Dan. I feel capable there. It's going to be pretty tough as a first note, but I think we can handle it. Yeah, no, uh, no foolhardy choices if I can help myself. Which is, you know, bold assumption. Let's start burning them. Let's see how we fare today, man. We're gonna make sure we keep our taunts up, stay on top of the DOT. Any DOT resistance, I think I'm gonna start valuing a little bit more too, like a burn shield, for example. For who knows what lurks in the beyond. Don't mind having a burn shield, despite the fact that it did lower my blight resist to that particular hit, but that's fine. I think my my whole perspective has shifted now as a result of our last few failures. Priorities, what to address, when to address them. I gotta recognize our windows of opportunity are much, much smaller these days. Like something like this, for example, is typically not anything I'd really be super concerned about, but now they got me wondering. I'm gonna go ahead and encore a play grenade here. So we do have our alchemist. Might as well enjoy the additional blight. Dissection. An unavoidable end. Pretty damn good. As effective as DOT can be against me, the same can be said in the inverse. Certainly works out against them too. Okay, so here's where we have sepsis for the first time. Uh, I must be below 50% HP, which I am just barely below the threshold there. Removes blight and deals 75% of remaining blight on target as damage, aka right there. So yeah, that's pretty sick. A promising development. Interesting. But this is oh, it's heal to 45%, not heal 45%. Okay, I misunderstood that. I suppose that'd be ridiculous. If that skill allowed him to heal 45% of his HP as well. Yeah, that seems a bit much. All right, good enough. I hate that sepsis has changed with every path. I haven't used it nearly enough to be upset about something like that, but yeah, it can get frustrating, I imagine. This is my least favorite area because most of the enemies have too the many teeth. variable can make all the difference. What if we just don't have enough teeth? You ever thought of that? I could go for a few more. It's like Brennan Lee Mulligan style. I just want an extra mouth in the back for snacking. Dude, if I could if I could be chowing down on club crackers while I'm playing DD2 and talking to y'all. Quality of life through the roof. I just dumped that trinket. That was dumb. That we may properly excise our portion. Uh, let's see. Yikes. 
that's not great. Ah, fine. Hey, Bear, have you ever played Green World? I... I am strongly considering it. It's weird that you bring that up, because I just saw a video mentioning that again. And it's another one of those games that anytime it's brought up, people just sing its praises while also obviously having the caveat of it's really hard and very confusing. And also the kind of game where you can wander off into a region you're not supposed to be in yet and just sort of get lost. And then the only way to return to the area you're supposed to be in is to walk all the way back where you came. And that's, that's a tough obstacle to overcome for me. It sounds frustrating, but I have heard that it is worth enduring that. There's not really such a region, such a thing as a region you're not supposed to be in. You know what I mean though, right? Where like, you can end up, maybe not necessarily somewhere you're not supposed to be, On but to end next. up going a little bit too far in a particular direction and realize that you're supposed to go somewhere else and have to trudge all the way back there to do it. That that turns me off of the idea, but a calculated generosity. despite that, what a welcome one, it's pretty impressive that despite that, I'm still very interested in playing the game. It does re look really good. And brutally difficult, which is obviously something I've shown interest in every now and then. Large. You're doing this. Do you think it could get worse? The thing about this is I know that the devil you know is much better than the devil you don't. I, I'm very familiar with the ways in which I can be punished. And I can be frustrated by this experience, you know? Like, it's a whole new universe. I'm talking about Rain World. Okay, no need for any of that yet. We should be able to get a bonus action here. We got the DOT piling up again. The tokens are actually getting weirdly bad, too. This blight is nasty. Yeah, boy. Please, Sean. Yeah, sure. What are you doing, friend? We're going to do this first. This road cannot be walked alone. Get a little stun going, maybe? That'd be a big help. So we can help ourselves out for a second. Because the Lash's gift works here. Blight's not so bad. Stun going there again. If I battlefield medicine one more time, you ought to be in fine shape. Got at least one more for the next round. Fade to black could even stall this out for an additional turn as we do further setup actions. I think we'll do exactly that. Double blinded, no problem. And then get our taunt going. Nice. Should probably go ahead and pop a glimmer here too, just to be safe. Outstanding. All right, let's give this a shot. A miscalculation, perhaps. Honestly, it might be worth it to stall a little bit longer, but nah, we're good. We'll mag to get through some dodges here. Back to the spooters. Yeah, let's see here. We could go for an encore, clear a little bit more dodge, or we could get another taunt going up front. That definitely seems like a better idea than the Razor's Wit right now. Yeah, let's just hit this. We can do this too, actually. That's not pretty. That's not bad. Yeah, let's do that. Could use an acid rain to clear those dodges so next. Unsteady stances. I'm just say they're likely to target these two anyway, so it's fine. There's a hidden enemy in rain. There's hidden enemies in rain world, and some of them are visible. I was already on the edge of my seat because I just managed to flee from some. I entered a new place, looked around. And suddenly a loud snap announced that I had been killed by an ambush predator and lost all that progress. <laughs> You've just perfectly described the deterrent. As fun and interesting as that sounds, it's also, I imagine, pretty frustrating. I don't know. I guess I just got to embrace that. That's, that's on me, it seems like, for the most part, is just being able to except the, the the futility every now and then because that makes progress even more satisfying right all right this is becoming quickly concerning here i think i'm gonna go ahead and have to get a taunt going again 
do have some pretty nice DOT in the back ranks, at least, so this guy's done. Ah, yeah, man, that DOT. Nasty. Yeah, pretty bad one on him now, too. Lead ought to be enough there. It's two spiders dead, at least, although it's likely we're going to have to deal with some corpses for him, too. Stun on the bounty hunter. I think uppercuts off cooldown, so we might be able to stall this out long enough for him not to be able to get those. Nah, not on cooldown. Or not off cooldown yet, damn. Well, in that case, let's try that out. Mm, yeah, sure. This is becoming quickly concerning. That's like every battle with the beacon. It definitely feels that way, yeah. More often than not, an invariable result. things are becoming quickly concerning. <laughs> it's our motto in here, dude. Okay, well, it's going to be on death's door at the very least, I think. Not quite, really. Damn, okay, well, I can still get away with it. I might be kind here. Jesus Christ, dude. That's some nonsense. Can I even do that? There we go. That's a heck of a use of indiscriminate science, tell you that much. Lovely. That's a dead worm, buddy. Give her an encore here real quick. Oh, I don't have another heal, do I? Shit, that was kind of dumb. Malaise. Measured and steady. Well, hopefully you can't target the back rank, but let's just make extra, extra sure that that's not going to be an issue. Especially now with the days. Yeah, we should be fine. Should be good. And taunt will sell a little bit more, hopefully, although it might not actually make a difference here. Still on cooldown, really. Well, at least we can do that. And you're going to be dazed, which means you act first, so just don't target the fourth rank. There we go. Easy. Not a problem. And then we go hi -ya. A breakthrough. Not quite dead to blight. Dude, if I just got my jester killed like that, that'd be real silly. Okay, still got a taunt. Goodness, I feel foolish. I do kind of want to stall now, though. He's got the DOT going. We're going to heal off this. We can just shuffle around a little bit more. And then hi ya -ka blam Pip acquired. Good creature, Den. That's a nice start, man. Go ahead and give me that mastery point. Ouch. Okay, I'll take that at least, though. That's good. Moving on. Oh, nothing, nothing but rough sledding, man. Obviously, the forced lair encounter here. I'll probably just take the first fight and flee, but might be tempted to see what's on offer. Ooh. Tarantism? Yeah, that's a bummer. All right. Let me try this. Bravo! Crit flashbang. That's pretty good. Okay. Let's clear some dodge. Good stuff. Good stuff. Still got a jester in very bad shape, though. It's ideal, I guess. And then just got to deal with one more there. There we go. That's a DOT. That's why we got the Plague Doctor, I guess. And then we could fade to black here, but... It feels a little better. We got the taunt up anyway. Low blow. Yep. Would this team be able to take care of the baby? Eh, it'd be okay. I feel like they wouldn't be much worse off than any other small foundation possible option. Really, like, at this point, especially with the Bastards Beacon equipped, I think that the only reasonable way to approach the baby fight is with some Holy Waters. Because... Unless you have debuff resist from something, too, it's just not smart to rely on pretty much pure luck. To not have to deal with the hunger in that battle. Because if you get poor rolls, it's just over. You just get like back to back hunger on the front, or both front ranks, and there's nothing you can do. So yeah, I, w I wouldn't. Well, I, I'm probably not gonna do it. It's gonna have to take an incredibly good A calculated generosity. pool of loot. What a welcome one. To Not convince me to even consider it. Not to mention, I mean, well, let's, let's get there first, too, huh? I really got to keep taking this 
entire experience one singular node at a time because every single fight is far from a given these days stumbling and God. stupefied yeah, there's that a simple variable go ahead and help her Easily out resolved she'll go ahead and help him out and we're all just best pals having a grand old time we've seen a few of the new trophies now yeah none of them have been particularly impressive dissection. an unavoidable end i'd go so far as to say they're bad every new trophy i've seen so far i've just been kind of underwhelmed by if not just straight up like disappointed in not very tempting stuff did you see the new general trophy remind me what that is the one pleasant in the extreme is that the sickness one this work no that's the harvest child's one isn't it not necessary there's one that does something like it's something with blight where it, it has like a very small chance to add blight to your team all the time which just seems terrible minus speed additional dot resistance that's actually pretty good for us. For this particular situation, that'd be helpful. Hmm. The landowner's manner. Do you hear the child's cries? Right, yeah, again, we're almost certainly just gonna get through this first one and get out of here if we can. That green? Actually, the blight's a better chance. Good stuff. Don't need to pop the glimmer just yet. Excluding the man at arms, what would you say is the best team comp you found for this new difficulty? Play Doctor seems more necessary than ever. I'll say that much. Just the ability to consistently remove damage over time is critically important. Um a good frontliner which we've been experimenting with a lot of different options and it's it's kind of hard honestly for me to land on the best one so far i do think you need a proper tank as well whether that be flagellant leper Lethality writ large. maybe hellion and then stress healing borderline necessary as well so that's a lot of the reason why you've seen the Jester in the mix pretty frequently here. Although the Crusader, yeah, I was just about to mention that, Sean. Yeah, the Crusader could absolutely fill the roles of both the tank and the stress healer. I just need to consider that option a little bit more frequently, probably. A lot of it has had to do with quirks lately, of course, too. We've been, we've been uh, choosing based on who's got the best quirk options. Yeah, Crusader's got the normal heals, too. He's just, I mean, I, I made this comparison about Crusader recently. But he just sort of feels like the uh, the the washer dryer combo option of of those roles, where like he's okay at all three of them, but not particularly good at any given one. That's not great. All right, you're dead to DOT. You're pretty close. Flashbang you. Actually, has ended up being pretty helpful so far here today. Plague Doctor will go first. This dude's dead. I think I actually prefer this one, wouldn't I? Yeah. Dragged back from the brink. Good enough. Do this, I guess. A deliberate and methodical appliance. And let's do that. Yeah, that's fun. A little heal for the boy. We'll get him back up to 34. Goddamn. Staying alive. Ah, 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 ah. And hopefully, one more quick stress heal option here. Let's go ahead and mag rain and clear that. Just kidding. But we can do this. A brilliant conclusion. Is it a front load or top load washer dryer combo? That's the real question. Yeah, that's the difference maker, isn't it? Well, let's be real, they're all bad. Steady yourself. 
I consider the Crusader more of a top load washer dryer combo personally. I recognize that's probably among the more controversial takes I've ever had. I understand that you can never watch me again after hearing that. I just gotta live my truth. A lesson taught is a lesson learned. Yeah, we're gonna go. We're gonna go ahead and leave. Scavenge what you can and be off once more. Can't really rely on him as solo, but having Crusader makes the game so much more pleasant as a secondary healer slash stress healer. Again, though, that's just, it just feels as though you are... I'd much rather have someone be a lot better at one thing in particular. I would rather give up the cushion and the forgotten in favor of a primary damage dealer or a primary stress healer or just someone who is designated to fit that role better and we can still often have cushions even without that like i, I think that's a lot of the Abandon reason he's been on the bench forgotten. so much it is ours now is because you're not wrong like that's sort of the role he fills is like a support character we don't really have room for that anymore it's a luxury we cannot afford Brother, I th I'm pretty happy to just go back to back Oasis here, although that Chirurgeon's stable. I did say I wanted Apron. Travel without proper reconnaissance. A hasty and reckless thing indeed. Yeah, I get it, Shrub. You gotta do what you gotta do. The loathing festers. I'm pretty tempted to take this table fight, but yet again, we're in a position where I really don't know I've, if I've got the damage potential for it. That apron would be nice. You could also just go to two oases. And I feel like having eight mineral spring water. Yeah, that's... <laughs> Everyone's like, please, God, Bear, don't make us do it. We beg of you. All right, fine. This does make sense. Ooh, more flapjacks. Let's go. I played Narita Boy. Two thirds through it and was ugly sobbing earlier. Oh boy. It's been a minute since I've had a game that made me do that. Oh, uh, what was the. Uh, oh, we played one. An elementary problem. Is it not? Before your eyes. That's right? Yeah, I think that's right. That was the game that only progresses when you blink. Which is an interesting concept. That one, that was a tearjerker though. That one got me good. More flapjacks, let's go. Getting real lucky with that. Yeah, all right, that's pretty effective anyway. Five spring water, baby. And 12 flapjacks, holy shit. Okay. We might as well equip these over the Icker Bomb, I think. That's a heck of a start. Just the one mastery point out of the creature then, but lots of good loot. How's it going, Carl? Good to see you again, buddy. Holy cow. I'm glad we got that. We very nearly missed the region goal. I wasn't even aware of it. All of a sudden, Torchlight plummeted down. Let's go ahead and glimmer that up again, dude. We're going to have to fade to black here for sure. Very glad that missed. Could have been a really nasty shuffle there. Okay, let's do this. Love the blind. No luck, that's okay. Your violence and apply it judiciously. Still very healthy. Very happy. Big blight right there. Absolutely. And have another one. And that's all for you, my friend. It's all yours. That's okay. Get the bounty hunter back up front. 
with it. All right. Perfect. An ideal outcome for everybody. Oh, flashbang has been getting a lot of good results so far today. I'm into it. Go team, go. Make the blight spread all around. Go ahead and finish off the goat. One less obstacle in our path. Fantastic. Does that dude in the back have his dick in the cart? I don't think I want to answer that one. Mostly because I don't want to conceive of it. Maybe it's just all one big dick. Okay, that's all I'm going to say. It's the only opinion I'm going to have on the matter. kind of wants it, if I'm being honest. He likes that. Malaise. Measured and steady. Okay. Oh, he's just dead, isn't he? Execute? Let's go, big crit. All problems have their solutions. Even the big ones. The thing in the cart is the dude. The one holding the cart is his dick. Okay, we found it. We found the worst version. Well done. Good work, everybody. Give yourselves a little pat on the back, aka a bare belly slap. Pat on the front. All right, region complete? Question mark. Yo, thank you, Pawn. Appreciate it. Patience available now. Thanks for the reminder to pin this message at the top of the chat to remind y'all though we got a new album coming out in two days. I'm so excited. Very, very excited for y'all to hear the new music. I think it's really, really good. The enemy weakens and wanes. Now, now, name. Calm yourself. All right, good stun start. Let's go ahead and pop a glimmer right away, because why not? This region has to be the most visually disturbing by far. I, I think I can agree with that, yeah. Sprawl, a sprawl a close second, but there's, yeah, there's no... There's no true competition when it comes to creepiness. Let's see if I can get this guy gone first. That should be fine. I'm gonna go ahead and do this though. This wound at least has been tended to. Heal heavy team. They've got a lot of safety nets, yeah. For as much as we were just talking about having people designated in specific roles more effectively. This team does have a few safety nets available, thankfully. Steady yourself. Right, nice big light back there, too. It's not a big deal. Let's go for the Encore Play Grenade. Seems like we're pretty committed to killing the back rank first here. I think I'm going to go ahead and bandage that again, too, just to be safe. That'll work. And yeah. Who knows, maybe I can get enough DOT to outlast the regen. Well, that ain't gonna do it. Perfect. Much appreciated. Nice to blight and keep that. Oh boy, why? Okay. Big shuffle. Oh, that is beautiful. Man, flashbang has been the best skill begins. of this entire region. A little help impeccably timed. Utility belt has done work against this entire section of enemies. Uh, no need to mag rain here. We're gonna go ahead and get some more blight going well on this done. lady. Here we are doing the region here. That's not good. Oh, is my Encore up here then? He's gonna need some help, Jesus Christ. Actually, Sepsis makes sense. Go Sepsis! Holy shit! Cool! Ah, that's pretty good too, isn't it? 
Go ahead and the meltdown here. My last rush judgment going. Okay, we got one more big blight, sadly. Or, sorry, not blight, one more big regen here. Hopefully, land a big blight. That's some good old flagellant. Yes, indeed. That's the guy we know and love. Almost the execute there. Okay, okay. And then let's get the fade to black again, sure. Unfortunate. Got death store there. Might have to battle for medicine. Doesn't look like it though. Yeah. That'll do. Self heal again. I'll go ahead and get one of these in the mix. Malaise. Big fat heal. Measured and steady. And time to finish him. Fantastic. All right. Let's go ahead and encore. No, I think we need it. We're good. Bring him down to death's door. I'm chilling. Just get the kill, dude. Why not finish him? Another impediment cleared with impunity. Hell yeah. Ooh, that's nice. Sharpest turn for the squad. The loathing festers. Solid region. We got the torchlight goal. Let's do mastery points. We got three mastery points total from the. Or sorry, two mastery points from the Chitinous Appendage and the Oblivion thing. Looking good. Looking pretty good. And all the flapjacks we could handle. Which, of course, the more flapjacks, the better. Reanimated Rabbit loves that. See if we can find some more food gear here too. Many, how many bobbles we got? Forty-five. Might not be enough. Lower your guard. Soften wow. Your gaze. Jeez. It is safe here. That was convenient. Another mastery point. Wow. Thanks, game. Sometimes they're just nice to you. All right, let's get fed. That's easy enough. The next stop is leagues away. Plan accordingly. Ooh. Usually a fun option for her, but sadly not something that's going to help us out all that much today. Minus flame drain. Good chance of getting the strong box here. I can go for that. Trenches and tents. The front lines of a war that was never fought. No additional food gear, so we'll probably just go ahead and hang on to the baubles here. I'm definitely going to go for some of these relationship items, especially discounted like this. Could go for the meditative totem as well. That seems like a pretty good idea. Let's try this on the flagellum. That is phenomenal. Speaking of phenomenal, wow. Run it back. God damn, that was lucky. Let's go. I would not mind getting rid of any of these three either. I feel like Braggart's okay. She's got 53 HP. She's fine. Let's get rid of Lazy Eye. Man, we are getting really lucky so far. Oh, Kermudgeon's gonna block that though, I see. Do we have another one? Precious relics remind us no. of a time before the end. Hmm. Maybe I wanna hold off on that then. Especially because they're already in pretty damn good shape. I'm gonna pick up this Warhorn too. I'm gonna grab these glimmers. Probably the smoke bombs. Adrenaline Tonic, honestly, a really good one, too. And then Death Cap Spores as well. That's a lot of really good combat items. Get the Whiskey Flasks. Something to ease the rigors of the road. That is extreme value right there, man. God damn. Outstanding result. The roads are rife with peril. A little protection is always welcome. Do I want to go ahead and pop the Whiskey Barrel? I really feel like I should hold on to it. We're all in neutral territory, so it's pretty unlikely we'll see a negative here. I guess I could just go for the songbook. Yeah, that works. Stop burning all your luck early, Bear. I can't help it. Just what it wants to do sometimes, man. Sheesh. All right, that's fine. Not a big hit there. There's also linseed oil if you want to fight the general. True. We could get three of them. Oh, shit. Good point. Well, might as well use the last of the relics, huh? That would be really, really good combat items for the general. Oh, shit. Oh, we might actually have the option here. 
That's surprising. Listen. Practice. Improve. Let's go ahead and get our DOT upgraded here. I absolutely feel like Battlefield Medicine is a good safety play, too. And then maybe it's time to go ahead and do Suffer right away. We did already just upgrade Battlefield Medicine, so maybe that's enough. But then what would we go for? Maybe Sepsis? That'd be a weird move. Eh, doesn't get that much better. More and more would be good. Yeah, let's do that. All the safety plays to begin with. And we still have a lot of really good potential here that I'm tempted to utilize. But I'm pretty sure I'm going to be better off saving it. How are we doing on trinkets? Got the sharpness charm for our jester. It's a very slow jester at this point. That's probably fine. We could rather him have a little extra stun resist. Let's refill those. Get the spring waters in the mix. These just in case, I guess. I almost just want to do a whiskey barrel for some stress healing, too. Could do this. Yeah, that's pretty good. Second win, too. That's nice. Okay. Yeah, that's good enough. Do I have one more thing that could reduce stress between those two, though? All right. Yeah, I'm out of money. All right. That works. And I'll have to do. Moving on. Mm -hmm. Tried and tested. A bond to be counted on. Nice. Noxious Blast can add a strength token to the flagellant. Yeah, second wind, a really good quirk for the flagellant for sure. Very happy to see that. Of your welcome back. rewards only. Resignation. Dracagresa! 38 months on the pile. Welcome back. Give him some bear hugs, please. Appreciate it. Thanks for the support. Pretty limited selection here, given the loathing has already accrued so much. I might even have to fight the Chirurgeon just to reduce it. Yeah, I'm starting to feel like that's the way I gotta go. Hmm. I feel like we're even worse off now than we were before. If I went through the middle, and then one of these nodes is Oblivion's Ingress or something, that might work out. It's kind of a gamble, though. I think it's worth it. Pillaging brigands, enriching themselves oh boy. as the world collapses. Big booms, starting with a crit, too. Yikes, okay. Let's get this done quick, hopefully. First look at our Vestal for the day. Definitely feel like a taunt is in order. All right, so when you begin here, we probably want to start with Hand of Light. Get the Strength token on you and the block as well, and then quickly to clear tokens on the other side too. Encore not the play. I think I fade to black. Attempt to prevent the crit from landing. Also puts him in a two-turn timer. There we go. Beautiful. We're going to have to deal with that crit, most likely. Not much we can do about that, I guess. Oh, goodness, the Blight's really starting to pile up, though. Could the Maze Bash deal six for us here? It sure freaking could. The There's two dead boys up front. Can't make all the difference. Ow! <laughs> Just fucking hell, man. <laughs> there's the cannon. There's the there's the cannon with the crit. Saying hey. How you doing? Still disagree with that. Not burning, but what are you gonna do? Besides whine about it. Which I'm more than happy to. Let's see here. Encore for a heal. I like it. Go ahead and boost you up a bit. 
good. And then I'm not going to be able to get through these. I'm not be able to apply any DOT either. Actually, yeah, this is going to be tough. I'm just now realizing we're going to be doing like one damage a pop for the most part. Oh, no. Oh, the blight, too. That's fun. A deadly all the same. I'm going to get the stress reduced at the very least. Oh, my goodness. Another crit, too. That's no fun. wonder if acid rain would work against it. That's certainly one that you would think would be effective, but no. Yeah, we had to have the acid versus blight conversation. Acid would certainly do it. Well, I don't like this. I feel as though this may be the hard counter to our squad here. And now, the greatest Ow. test of all. Oh boy. Self-reliance is a rare and wonderful thing. We do not have Encore, so let's go ahead and do that. Jesus Christ. I'm not going to be able to bleed it either. I can blind him. That's a big difference maker. Right through the fatigue. Uh, I believe we have the prediction going, yeah. Good to go. Oh, hand of light to get a strength. There we are. Is this the play? I think so. Just was worried about that element of it. We have Encore. We have a heal coming up. We should be fine. Oh, that's a very greedy play. Let's not do that. Oh, actually, I could have done a Spring Water and then a Stress Heal. Yeah. Oh, well. Dragged wow. From the brink. Nice. That'll do it. Four damage. You got this? You sure do. Delightful. Well, that was scary. Bonus to melee damage. I'll take that. Jester actually pretty stacked right now. Plus 35%. Alright, we, we just got to get lucky here. Hopefully this note coming up you is going to allow us some enough to shoulder more reduction of loathing. Of the burden. No need for that. Sadly, another negative relationship hit, but the torchlight is maxed out. A scout that we didn't necessarily need, but at least this confirms for me we should be able to reduce the loathing a bit. You will fight so that others may flee. Maybe want to hit that hospital too, but I'm definitely starting to feel like we need as many road battles as we can take in here. We have Oblivion's Ingress coming up as well, so we're at least going to be able to clear it there, too. Should be fine? I never feel confident anymore, man. It's just... It's just been a struggle lately. Okay. Speaking of which... Ah, oh, I hate him. This guy right there. These two together. No fun. Hmm. Do you think I'm going to do that? Really, they have very, very low lead resist. Um. Okay. I'm gonna kill the drummer first. That's a bit unusual. I suppose that means he's not going to be able to volley anymore, so that's... Old that's going to help a lot! What lurks in the beyond. As you can see, the volley's a problem! And he can do it every turn! So long as he's with this guy, he'll do that attack every single turn. It's fun. It's a good time. Go. Yep, he's guarded. Can't do anything about that. Oh man, I hate it. Hate that combination so very much. Mm -hmm. 
Yep. Yep, 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 yep. That'll do. Okay. No need for that. I suppose taunt is actually kind of helpful here. We're both dead to DOT now, so that's good. Just need to do this. Need to blind you. Okay. I think we're through it. Just... There's no avoiding that being absolute disaster, unfortunately. Um, sure. Let's see. Saps is not going to do much still, so... Cool with that. Say goodbye. Please miss. Or do that. That works too, I guess. That's pretty wasteful. And then we can stress heal. Freaking heck. Alright, man. That'll do it. One more cheeky little heal in at the end. There we go. Thank goodness, dude. Heal for one. Sure. Why not? No need for all four. Off we go. Oh, boy. I don't feel good. In this that world, else felt a little better. Is worthless without purpose. You need that. There goes the loading. Okay. That's some relief, too, actually. In a hospital. I wouldn't mind that either. Good call, team. Holy shit. We're gonna spend relics healing? Is that the kind of situation we're in these days? We actually need to heal at the hospital? Say it ain't so. The nerve. To force this situation upon us. I guess I could get rid of some negative quirks, but I'm also very limited on relics. Let's do that. The loading festers. Oh, I should have checked for food gear there, too. I didn't really think about it. Oh, well. All right. Got a lot of torchlight. At the very least. Down to our last mineral spring water. The avatars of oblivion. Clergy of the spreading stain. Vestal does always hit that hard. Yeah, it just takes a little bit of setting up to do so. Hand of light strength token coupled with the fully generated... Uh, What's it called again? The the Vestal's unique token. I always forget the name of that thing. Quick draw. Let's go. Yeah, you get the full three stacks of that, and then she's hitting for double damage with the bonk. It's pretty nice. Okay, obviously every single Oblivion's encounter is going to be a problem. I do like that a lot, though. Could use clotting powders here. No longer able to really shuffle the enemy team here, either. I suppose that's certainly something that this team is missing, is the ability to shuffle at all. Nor are they able to really deal with shuffling all that much. Which is obviously going to make things like that a little bit more frustrating. Alright, then let's get our regen going. I've been doing a lot of Consecration. I'm beginning to wonder if maybe I want to swap that skill off for something else, but I don't think she's really got a lot of other good options either. Uh, I don't think I need to do that yet. Let's go for... Let's go for some Blight. Decent chance of adding up the Blight enough here to... take her out pretty quickly. That's ideal. Jester can shuffle, yeah. If I were to give him, like, Echoing March or something, I suppose that would work pretty well. I don't necessarily want to give up any of his skills right now, though. He's in a pretty good spot. Speaking of being in a pretty good spot, that was excellent. No bleed and then fully recovering off that hit. Let's burn him. Seems good. Nice rain time. Still got the vulnerable back there somehow, and then heals for 30. God damn, I'd love to see it. Let's try this out. Let's see if maybe I like doing it that way. Well, that's a good thing. You weaken at least, okay? It's not hurting too bad. We don't have the worship to worry about here. Sadly, did lose the vulnerable, though. Stress heals off that. You gotta love it. And Asterini. Oh, that's not good. 
an unavoidable end. Thankfully, the maze bash is still pretty nice, but can also do that. That's bad. Ooh, that might be the OT. Hey, lovely. And sadly, you just gonna have to move. I think it's probably time for the Jester to stress heal now too. That'll do. I'm hoping that the Plague Doctor can act first and actually gets knocked back off of the Blight Bomb here too. That'd be convenient. Vestal Mace Bash kick in. Eh, not that time, okay. Still going for our Acid Rain here. That actually works out. Yeah, that'll do it. Okay. Yeah, good enough. Oh, unfortunate. And the Blight really is almost matching up with the regen here. And this dude's just been stressing on the heck out of himself. That's awful nice. There, we'll have the or hit the acid rain again. Should be a dead altar at the very least, and I think this guy's dead at the DOT as well. Looking pretty good. Can't regen again, but we can do that. That'd be helpful. Pretty happy we upgraded the inspiring tune as well. It does make a pretty substantial difference. Sanguine just crushing it so far, man. Let's see. Do that. That's not bad. Hmm. Oh, yikes. Seven bleed. Yeah, let's get lashes in here, actually. And we're going to go ahead and move up so we can allow the... Well, actually, regen is probably best. And then Encore? Yeah, there we go. We can move up after that, I guess. Encore for a move certainly doesn't feel like the most effective use of our action economy, but let's feel necessary here. All right, we're gonna battlefield medicine, right? Yeah. A little help, impeccably done. Feeling better. Just got a regen going. Got a nice big mace bash coming through. Hell yeah, brother. Vestal. File that under things you love to see. Any Bash will bring her down. Don't do it, dude. One last heal in here as well. The small foundation of trust. Full HP flagellant, let's go! He's done it. No need for further heals. Out the door. Good region. Oh, no, I'm not done yet. <laughs> that was wishful thinking. Good, good oblivion encounter. The loathing whispers. I guess. Here, you can have that. Mastery point. I'll take that. Another ingress right away, though. And a creature, Dan. Oh, God. Order and a cash after, though. Investors. An appropriate reward, although separated by barricades. All right. When the cult came, no orders were shouted. No swords were drawn. Ooh. There was only stupefying horror. Look at this dude. And the catatonic lethargy that follows it. Tokens on tokens. Oh, right. Yeah, that's... That's what that means. <laughs> okay. Empowered. Ah, man. Hmm. I think we saved those. Let's go ahead and glimmer there as well. Get our torchlight nearly maxed. Taunt time, and then I do think I harvest there as well. Take out the altar quickly. Get the strength and crit hit coming in, huh? That's a lean forward right there. Oh, let's see. Let's regen again. I want to upgrade that soon as well. 
Ooh, strength and crit for ourselves here. Just kidding, it's gonna be weakened, actually. Well played, Cherub. Let's go for it anyway. No blight there. Wow, that's a bummer. All right, let's open up this guy for damage, though. He's basically dead. All right, I gotta fix her up a little bit more. Probably stress heal that. Of course. That's gonna be a Consecration of Light up front. That's kind of fun, actually. I like that. Mix you up. We'll get a Battlefield Menace the next turn. We should be fine. Let's give up the Plague Grenade, but they're in pretty bad shape back there anyway. Not much that she's blind, so I guess that makes the decision for me. There you go. This wound at least has been tended to. Okay, he's exactly dead to the BOT. That's a big ass regen in the back. I hate that. Well done. Let's see if we can take him out before he's able to recover from this. Yeah, let's see here. Yeah, I think it's handle light actually. Use his strength and hit and not have to deal with any block plus anymore. Encore plague grenade. No, she's still blinded. Let's see if we can stop this crit. Ah, oh, jeez, that's already an issue. Really messing with her. All right, well, that certainly seems like a good mag rain opportunity. There's the corpse at the very least. This opens up harvest as well. We're probably going to need to stress heal this turn too, though. Miss it? Nice. Oh, that's big. That is real big. That allows us to get the taunt back up, too. This is perfect. Mace bash right through the block plus. We'll Razor's wit into here, and hopefully... Oh, wait, no, we were going to do that. Yeah, that's definitely the play there. We are feeling pretty damn good here, actually. Worth noting, we are in much better condition than we're used to, I think, with this sort of encounter. Very happy. Steady yourself. And I think they heard me. Let's see here. This is gonna be for twelve? No, nine? Okay. Let's just do that. Should be yep, there we go. Back up to half, and then good chance for death's door there. Okay, okay. No regen just yet. Handle light works well. Oh, the braggart taunt, though. That's not good. Not, not good, especially with the crit now. Sheesh, and there he is back to full. That's what I was worried about. That did feel like the right way to do it, though. And let's fix you. All right, hopefully the taunt doesn't matter. Indeed, it does not. Jeez, they are just being ruthless to her, though. I like Harvest there. Ooh, wow. Nice shot. Well played, well played. Hey, Matt, welcome. All right, one more battlefield, right? Yeah, let's just go ahead and... Relief comes rarely in these times. Make damn sure we're gonna be okay here. No need for sepsis. He's down, but he's back. And Harvest. You dead? You're nearly dead? Hopefully get through the blind here with the Maze Bash. Excellent. All right. Job well done. The smallest variable can make all the difference. A bit more HP for the boy. Good. That's a, that's a fun killing move. Extract the life from him. I like that a lot. Not too bad. Apply vulnerable on a hit. Let's go for it. Yeah, that's a pretty good one for her. Okay, creature den coming up. Tough region. 
a bestial refuge. But we are being rewarded with appropriately. Bones and less identifiable remains. This does feel like the right idea. All right, there we go. You're all in. It'd be cool if they added an Oblivion type playable character. What do you mean by that, Shrub? That just makes me think of a cultist. There's a mag rain. Lovely. It's funny that this is the easiest version of this encounter. Like, by far. <laughs> this is. Absolutely the team that I am the least concerned about. Especially if we can manage to control the corpses. Which I suppose I should have saved Magram for that now that I think about it. Oh, you know what we're going to do? This is, this is going to be the Bear Taffy special. We're going to kill all these guys at the same time. I'm going to do the exact same amount of damage across the board. We don't have to deal with any corpses at all. They're starting to pile up the DOT a little bit, aren't they? Uh, let's do that. Lovely. The fiend's strength doing. Okay, he's dead. He's dead. Rank two's feeling bad. Ooh, a really nice self heal. Excellent. And there's two more dead. Oh, actually, might be able to just mag rain that too. That'd be pretty awesome. Let's go like this. Ah, no luck. Okay, so we might get one transformation. Hopefully not. Okay. That's acceptable. I might want to leave the other corpses now because he might just eat them. And then we can just continue to focus on him instead of trying to get rid of those. That seems worth going for. I'm assuming he's going to, actually. Oh, okay. Well, I didn't have any benefit to that anyway. All good. Now we mag right Yeah. No burn, though. Darn. Stress is piling up a little, too. Definitely want to try to address that before we move on to round two here. Well, I'm kind of guessing that's going to be stuck where it's at. Yeah, again, this is just easily the best possible version of this encounter here. There we go. All right, now for the worst. Welcome to hell. Spider City. Spider City. We sell spiders. And that's all. Sapper. They sure are. Steady yourself. Got that right, buddy. He does have extra stun resist. You got the dark impulse on there. It's probably gonna help a little bit. That's not good. That's probably gonna need me an encore, actually. Although I think that's on cooldown. Yeah, shit. Hmm. Still pretty good, okay. Sweat soaked brows. Well done, buddy. Unsteady stances. Exhaustion takes hold. Thank you, educated, yeah. <laughs> Appreciate that. I know I am among like minds when the, slow suffering the UHF references are far from a deep cut and are in fact the expected reference. Built an excellent community here. This wound at least has been tended to. Yeah, handle light. Yeah, weirdly, I just sort of see that as a token clearing move. Messy, but effective. Well, it's just a token move in general, I guess, isn't it? Yeah, you get the Old strength token for her, and then the for who knows removal on the other the side. Beyond. This is what we were scared of here too. Lots of DOT, lots of crowd control, and 
A little bit of stress on top of that. That's yeah, fine, I guess. Let's get our taunts going now. Definitely want to see some stress healing here. I think I'll take a chance on this guy. Nice. There you go, buddy. This is pretty good still. Like, the flagellant has been enormously helpful in this build. I think that for the... I am very happy that we opted for him over the duelist, is what I'm trying to say. I think I think that was absolutely the correct choice. And the upgrade to more and more in particular, I think, was a very good decision as well. The enemy weakens and wanes. I think that has resulted in a much safer situation for us here. Ooh. That's Agony. their last battlefield, isn't it? Yep. Good timing there, at least. Really want to try to stress heal once more, but yeah, I'm fine with that, too. Here's the stress heal. Greater threats await those who dare. I see it being similar to something like Duncan said, an abomination-type char character, but they change into an oblivion creature upon transformation. They have similar abilities to the oblivion creatures. That's interesting. Sort of like Abomination, but transforms into like an Exemplar type thing. Ooh. A, a, a character? Hold on, I'm workshopping this in my head. I'm thinking of something like I'm weirdly making a League of Legends parallel where you, you know how they have that two character the two character pair in League where like it's the I think it's a an ADC and a support where on their own they're not as good but combined they're super powerful. What if you had that with a DD2 character who could pair with another person like you pair the Oblivion character like with the Occultist and then they combine their powers and become a size 2 Eldritch Horror, transforming akin to the Abomination. Huh? Fusion? Ha! Yeah, there you go. You got it. Merchant's Guild Seal. A sound investment in roads yet untraveled. Gotta do it. Two league nerds. Yeah, right. I just outing everybody real quick. I am one. I mean, the fact that I know that. I never even played with those characters, and I still know that. So much of a fucking league nerd I am. Yeah, I was thinking about doing Stewpot there, too. I think Merchant's Guild Seal is ultimately going to end up being better. Maybe we'll get a cheap Stewpot later, anyway. And they kiss for an unreal amount of time. There we go. Yeah, the most important facet of their relationship, obviously. That's a good start. This is also not as threatening of a squad, especially if we can manage to prioritize this guy early. I appreciate them taking some pity on us here. Oh yeah, this is already basically done. A wash in turmoil. We're good to go here. I'd have to have some lure to play with other characters, though. It needs some more workshop, and yeah, I got the framework down, but there's certainly some... some elements of it that need work. I, I honestly think that there's room for that in the game, though. I want them to get crazier with shit like that, man. I, I, I want them to experiment a little more. Get wacky with it. Why not? Let's have some fun in here. Ah, uh, yeah, it's the harvest there. I feel like a drummer, two archers, and a soldier could beat a general. That'd be fun, too. Now you got me immediately operating in a completely different mindset of... AI fights. Who would win? Dreaming General versus 
the librarian. Nah, that's that's not fair. Librarian's got he's got like a Pokemon style hard counter to the general. What about like general versus Leviathan? Ah, uh, no, nah, that doesn't work either because Leviathan needs to pull down. General versus baby. This may be the the, the fairest pairing we can create. You still give it to General there? Yeah, I think I'd probably give it to General, too. Do I do that? I guess so. I'll have the, conf the confession bosses fight. Yeah, there we go. Seething Sigh versus Focused Fault. There you go. just have to take death before dishonor here unless i can get a giant dot going that might do it that will do it beautiful and then we can even heal a little bit all right kind of like the slay the spire mods where you play as the bosses they have those that's cool i like that I've been playing a bunch of Slay the Spire on my phone lately. I've been getting very into that as just a casual mobile game. It's a perfect fit. Let's see here. I can go ahead and combine the glimmers. Quick question. Why is the Jonker dealing uncalled for damage? Well, that'd be because of these two puppies right here. The plus 35% damage coming from the Sharpness Charm and the Gnarly Knuckles. Yeah, that's pretty good. I could rather do that. Downfall mod there. It's actually amazing. That's the Slave Aspire one? That does sound fun. That honestly sounds like it might be stream worthy. Karma abhors waste. Best to take all you can. Hey, Blistering Bugle. Nice. Your coach is laden. You can carry no more. Much better. Okay. Yeah, you can have that. Yeah, that's good enough. Yeah, let's equip the Laudanum, too. There you go. Lots of combat items. Let's get rid of one of these Dark Impulses, too. Let's just do this. Oh, right, yeah. Got a lot more loot than I realized. Um. Hmm. Chalk Dust is really good for the lair, too, but I guess we're not fighting the general here, so yeah, we can just get rid of that. And... I don't like these, yeah. I'm not going to use those either. Can I stack the barrels? No. Okay. Mirror versions of the boss. The general turns into a hippie. The baby becomes a moody teen, and then the librarian becomes the comic book guy. I'm very glad that you have excellent alter egos for all three there. Then the Leviathan just becomes a, a Magikarp. Just don't even worry about the copyright. Cow world ain't. Fuck it, dude. I'm just going to change my channel name to Magikarp. No, I'm actually, I'm going to change, change my name, my channel name to Pokemon LLC. I'll go good, I'm sure. Battlement and vexation. Ew, don't crit. Big stinky jerk. Man, that DOT piling up real quick. That's supposed to be the other way around, dude. Ooh, it is, it turns out. Yeah, they're getting a little bit on us, too. Okay, okay. Oh, yeah, I might actually want to stress heal this. That's do. Oh, that's on cooldown. Wow, okay. I don't think he... Well, he can probably be battle for medicine here. Pretty sure. There we go. This wound, at least, has been tended to. Man, they're speedy over there, too. Sheesh. 
Pop time. Thank you very much. Battlefield medicine. This road cannot be walked alone. I'm really happy with this team so far. I don't know why I doubt it. I did though. I doubted this team's potential, and I shouldn't have. They've been very, very good so far. A petty hindrance. And again, I'll I'll go on record. I do think that that upgrade to more and more has been an enormous part of our success. I am loving it. Stress isn't really a factor here, man. This is great. I feel relaxed. That's not right. That immediately makes me feel like I'm in danger. But no, I'm doing great. Incoming death fight. Yeah, no, that absolutely had to be the case there, right? I was queuing that in up. Crisis, no gain is insignificant. I'm welcoming it, though, actually. I would, I would be very happy to see death here. We are in great shape for that. Okay. Torchlight's fine, right? I didn't actually see. I think we have glimmers equipped anyway. Yeah, we're good. Uh, I think I'm gonna go with the smoke bombs here. I don't think we're gonna need the tonic. Keep the spring water just in case. Here we go. Big boy. Hmm. Mm hmm. A brilliant conclusion. That's an interesting idea, Sean. Yeah. And again, it's the kind of thing that I feel they are free to experiment with. Like, there's no rules, man. Apart from what they've decided is, what is it, canonically man? appropriate, what is they, they can do anything with this damn game. From the abyss. They can do whatever you want. Malaise, measured and steady. Okay, got a glimmer's going. Let's go with the bleed. What do you think the opposite of the anti Q would be? I guess like a beggar? I'm just thinking of the uh, squid punishment dude, the madman from game one. <laughs> it's pro P, yeah. <laughs> I, like, I like that that P is the opposite of Q. Just each 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 letter in sequence is the opposite of the next. <laughs> Yeah, man, that's how it works. Didn't you go to kindergarten? The fiend's strength dwindles. Ah, that's a worship, isn't it? Yeah. Man, I realize you have your regen there. That sucks. I guess I should have been doing the smoke bomb too. Oh well. Um. Still think it's this. Light to overpower the region now. This is no Ow. time to falter. Owie. Goodness. Rude. Go ahead and move forward again. Do the inspiring tune here. Lenity. Grace. That's better. Small acts that drive back the darkness. Alright, now we actually have to worry about preventing worship number two. Magrain. Oh, he's dead anyway. All right. Wow, that sucks. It's a lot. There we go. And Tom's again. Just beat Cerulean Bell in two hands. Our our entire Discord. Uh, the 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 NLSS group chat is obsessed with Bellatro. It's like all we've been talking about since the game came out. 
because I've still been playing a bunch of it offline. I'm honestly kind of disappointed that folks, uh, that the pile is not as into Bellatro as I am, because I am obsessed with that game, dude. It's so good. I think I might even play some more today, actually. A simple kindness. You haven't seen Bellatro yet, or like you don't think you're gonna like it. I, I implore you to give it a try. Like I, I can near guarantee you don't even have to like poker that much. It's just a great fucking game, dude. Just a very clever, very well designed roguelike. Excellent work. I've been totally working hard remotely playing Bellatro, right? <laughs> Malaise. Measured and steady. Same here, brother. Really into Helldivers 2 right now. Apparently everybody is. I had what the fuck is Helldivers, dude? The one pleasant in the extreme. This work is noble. And necessary. Like I have a general idea of what it is. I had no idea it was this popular. It has like f half a million fucking concurrent players, dude. It's insane. I knew some people liked it. I didn't realize it was like gonna be the most popular game out right now. Beating out like fucking Counter Strike. The loathing whispers. Uh, silent treatment. Oh, that's an interesting one. The first one was never this popular. Yeah, that's why it's so weird to me. Are people just like that desperate for a new group third-person shooter? Yes, yes, Bear, they are. <laughs> you nailed it. <laughs> uh, let's see. I might dump Glimmers now. I don't think I need these other Dark Impulses still. I can probably get rid of that guy and then... I'm tempted to go Silent Treatment too, but I'm pretty sure everything else is decent for now. Decent enough anyway. This could be pretty good on the Vestal though. It would be especially helpful to... Get them to focus on the flagellant. Yeah, I think I've convinced myself that seems pretty good. Cool. The dev team seems down to earth, which helps. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, Pal World's still insanely popular too. I mean, that one makes more sense to me. We've we've talked about the the massive void that continues to exist in the good open world Pokemon like realm. The place is a little worse for wear. Oh, but God. Familiar nonetheless. Yo, let's go! Jackson with the jinx! Oh, it's been so long since I've seen it, dude. Oh, baby. We gotta lock that shit in immediately. Especially with a bugle. Dude, that is, that is extremely good. Big W right there. Every road a winding torment. It looks like we're going librarian. Every turn bent on our destruction. We got a pretty good team for the librarian, though. I think this is a decent setup here. Any advantage is a good thing. Oh, I want to re repair that coach, but let's go check what we fair, got first. But fairly priced. And there it is, right on cue. I don't know if I should buy this, though. I absolutely think I should repair the coach instead of buying the, the stew pot. Especially because Stewpot doesn't help a ton with the with the rabbit. It gives the speed bonus, obviously, but it doesn't generate a ton of food for it. I think I'd much rather repair the coach. Planning and mindfulness. As vital to survival as sharpened steel. Get in their flat jacks. And let's have some whiskey. And let's have some whiskey. And let's have some whiskey. And play cards. Think of the content there. We already got the content. The content is the flapjacks, and the flapjacks are the content. You know this. Um. Yeah, let's keep going with Jester Flagellant. We're doing pretty good otherwise. Sweet. Try it again. They're in love. Mm hmm. 
does the flagellant have a dick left to fuck with? Whether you're on timeout, go sit in the timeout corner. Hmm. Mastery time. One learns quickly when survival demands Okay, it. but answer the question. <laughs> if somebody else answered it, you don't need a dick to fuck. What are you talking about? Don't be exclusionary. <laughs> uh, let's see. Fade to black, always a good choice. Harvest on is kind of tempting too. Yeah, the extra combo wouldn't hurt. This is what people keep coming back for, man. After all these years, these, those are the conversational moments that they're tuning in for, for sure. We've already got more and more upgraded, so we don't really need to lean any more heavily into the, um, the Jinx build here. More DOT there wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. Hand of Light to add Weaken, actually. Yeah, that seems pretty nice. Ooh, Mace Bash is good, too. Let's do that. Bear, did you have input earlier on Anxiety's Discord question? Oh, we started the stream with that conversation, Pond, didn't we? Been a lot of dick talk today. Just a quick quote from the Discord for the conversation that you're missing offline. You'd think they'd make him like a Ken doll, but he definitely has junk down there because you see it in the first movie. You see the Terminator's dick? In the first movie? Terminator's Hanging Dong? Episode one? I don't remember that. I remember him being naked. I don't remember you seeing a full fucking shaft, dude. What the hell did you come back to? The norm. The usual. Dude is slanging it. Oh boy. That. Aspiration unites the hopeful. All right, yeah, I want to hit my quality of life button here. Harvest will remove DOT. Play grenade adds a strength token. Acid rain adds a dodge plus. Fade to black with a stress heal, so does sepsis. That's pretty good. OG Terminator was made in the 80s on a limited budget. Ah, yes, the 80s. Behold, the great cities of man. Where a PG rating ruined and a flame meant you were allowed to show one pair of boobs, one penis, and I think like three F words. They, they were pretty lenient with it back in the day. Tighten the ship a little bit through the 90s. Where's the dang lair? There you are. You can do a pair and then one single boob, right? Yeah, no, that's still allowed. But any more than that, you're, 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 you're towing the line on a PG-13 there, friend. But then once you get to that threshold, you can straight up kill a dude on camera. I don't give a shit. Eh, let's do Watchtower. It's probably smart. We venture blindly forth at the mercy of the road. You get three tits in one with total dangerous. recall. That's true. Yeah, they found a loophole, didn't they? <laughs> We all saw it. The value of such a view is matched only by its unsettling awfulness. A pair and a spare. Beautiful. Yeah, no notes. I believe that's what the, uh, the, what's it called? The, God damn it. If I were more intelligent, I'd be able to pull up the name of, oh, the Motion Picture Association of America. That's the one I knew I'd remember eventually. Yeah, I believe that's what they officially refer to it as. Ah, uh, boy. There's no path that we can take that would allow us to maintain the shields, is there? Oh, no, there is. It's this way. We go left, straight. Oh, but that's loathing. Damn it. Straight, straight. No, it's... Uh, God damn it. Maybe this assistance encounter will give us the block back, uh, the block back, though. We can do this one as well. 
There's another one there, too. Oh, I need, need to go left. Man, I hate it when it looks like this, where there's only one connection. Like, you actually... You, I have to go left from here. If I don't go left from here, I'm screwed. I can't get to the lair. So, yeah, we're actually a lot more limited than I realized. So, if we go on a path through the middle... Oh, very true. We need to lock the jinx in. Yeah, I forgot that's a huge priority. I don't have enough... I do have enough... No, I don't have enough relics yet. So, we'd have to... I have to take an encounter first. Is there a later hospital? There is. Oh, but you have to... Ah, crap. So I think the only way we're going to be able to do it is to take a chance on the left. Well, no, there's, not even, there's no encounter. Oh, man. This is going to be easily the most time I've spent making a decision on a route in a while, but it definitely feels like I need to think this through here. Is the Jinx worth it to risk that? Because the, th the other part about that, too, is that it's likely that we'll have to have the, um, the, the Loathing Max out here. Although we go Chirurgeon, I guess. We only get the one node. I think it's worth a try, man. Ah, oh, that's annoying, though. <laughs> That's one thing, since they've made the change where you have to choose um, the path like at the intersection and then it automatically steers the coach in that direction a little bit. Every now and then you'll miss a pile because of that. Normally it's not a big deal, but in situations like this, where I am desperate to try to hit every single pile on the way to our destination, it's a little frustrating when it, the game literally does not allow you to interact with them. I really wish they would change that, because it's kind of frustrating. It's the it's the smallest, most trivial minutia, but it does it's it's noticeable. Makes a difference. Especially if you got the Asag here, obviously. And that's even worse. You never know which pile's gonna hold the goods though, man. Eh, that seems worth it. first mod I want for this game is a wide coach mod. One that just occupies the whole roadway. Right. Yeah, there you go. God damn it, dude. Mm, yeah. Didn't get lucky. Well, there's a few at least, but not enough. I think I needed three hits. Got the one. Yeah, bummer. Oh well. She understands the futility of her work, but undertakes it nonetheless. Yeah, this would be so good. That's a shame. I think the one change that bothers me the most had to be the way the repair fights work. They're so frustrating for no reason. They changed something about that? I feel like those are those were always pretty much operating the same way. I don't think I can afford to buy anything either. The loathing howls. Alright, well, gotta go. Kyrgyzian here. Brace up. There is danger on this path. And before the jinx being replaced before you reach the second hospital. Well, the other thing is I can't go to the second hospital here. We have to hit the lair. Because I haven't got a trophy yet. So we'll just have to hopefully keep the jinx by sheer luck. Stupendous. All right, our first encounter of Region 3. We've got our silent treatment going here as well for the Vestal. Also have the upgraded hand of light, so weakens or yeah, weakness slash weakening incoming. And harvest time. She is hurting. Love to see it. I do think that's gonna make a substantial difference too. I like hand of light a lot on her. 
On to the next. Outstanding. Yeah, let's hit that too, why not? Dodge plus with the Plague Doctor is real nice. Man, loving this flagellant today. He has been a treat. That is not a problem, buddy. Hit the DOT here. Not lucky on the Dodge Plus, unfortunately. Looks like a stress heal coming up. Then let's go get the regen too, yeah. This boy being this slow is actually kind of working out, I think. The ability to like encore moves at the tail end of any, any given round or... Holy hell, the Mace Bash is hitting for 30. That's cool. All right, a little bit of stress heal tail end here too. That was clean. God damn. I think repair fights were added partway through early access, I want to say. Oh, no, no, no. So re repair fights were added when they added um, the uh, shield and wheel modifiers. Or the shield and wheel stats, whatever you want to call it. The thing for the stagecoach. That's when that came around. And I'm pretty sure they've been in the same state since then. I don't think they've been changed, but I could be wrong about that. Alrighty. See how we fare here. With a triple taunt to begin with. Can still play grenade that, thankfully. A brilliant conclusion. Big time DOT, love to see it. Okay. Never managed to beat this boss so far. I have a newfound respect for him for sure. This fight is hard. I think the very first time I encountered him, we had a pretty easy go of it, which gave me a fully false sense of confidence about it. And since then, it has been very tough. Yeah, this guy is... He's scary. Hold fast, for who knows what lurks in the beyond. Acid rain. Flagellant carries the team again. Acid rain. We were considering using the Duelist earlier today, London. In fact, the Duelist had an excellent uh, positive quirk that made me want to do it even more, but ultimately just... Development? I think the biggest issue with Duelist for me right now is the fact that she pretty much only fills one role, and that's damage. And she's not even particularly good at that. Like, she's fun, don't get me wrong. It's, it's an interesting character, but I just don't think it's one of the better options right now. You can get better damage from other sources and a slow less conditional and sources, end. too. She's just not our best Steady bet, yourself. unfortunately. And that's what we need right now is our very best bet. Good old Jinx. All right, fixing up. There we go. This wound, at least, has been tended to. If they buff Duelist damage, would you play her more? Probably. I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that I'm just not used to playing with her as well. I think that's a big factor. If I had more familiarity with the character, I'd probably be a little bit better off. I think I gotta go ahead and stress heal this. Let's get our glimmers going, too. Actually, the harvest is really nice. I have to pass that here. A crit for the boy, okay. Dodge it. Nice. Runaway was pretty bad in early access, too. Oh, Jeez. We only only gotten marginally better. Nice for the Tarantism, bud. Ooh. Yucky. You are up front now, though. That's convenient. Let's hard focus this guy for now. To got another taunt there. That's convenient. Let's go for the smoke bomb. Nah, I'm lucky. All right. Yeah, we better go ahead and make sure to avoid this for now. All right, Mace 
Smash ought to be pretty goddamn good here. Another taunt again, excellent. Um, yeah, better. Oh, come on, man, sheesh. Bravo. Unfortunate. Good giant blight there again. My run ended at the 1.12 million blind. Was 80k short? Jeez. Ah, it's, just, it's unfortunately confirming for me, too, that I think I might just be kind of bad at Bellatro because all the people that I talk to that are obsessed with the game are talking about things like that, where they're like, oh, man, I had a run where I had a blind that was 45 million chips, and I just came short. And I'm like, what the hell, man? I can barely win. About 45 million? What the fuck? I'm lucky to reach the final level. through the fatigue. Alrighty, well, this is working out, isn't it? Stroke. Okay, and then get the taunts back. I watched someone get to exponent 75 on their score. It just gets absurd, dude. Well done. It just gets nonsensical. That was part of the fun. It was a big part of the fun, actually. Let's keep stress healing, yeah. I stared slack jaw when NL did an all aces run and was pulling a million chips a hand. He told us about that one too, yeah. He was He was bragging about that one in the group chat. Had like 80 cards in the deck, most of which were aces. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Yeah, you're not the only one, Trev. I, again, I, I implore people to check it out. Like, even if you're not watching me play, go check out Bellatro. It is a good time. Definitely one of the better new releases in recent memory. We're quietly kind of destroying this dude. This is awesome. This team is kicking ass. It's making me really happy. We finally found something that's pretty consistently good. I think the Flagellant is easily the biggest factor to that. We kept the stress in check. The early upgrade to Inspiring Tune has been big, too. All these taunts, the Blistering Bugle has been big. Fuck it, dude. Let's blight the guy. Get some damage in there, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, dude. Sepsis. Sepsis use case. Let's go. That's so smart. Big bash. Ooh, baby. And fade to black. Yeah, we're going to want to get rid of the blight on him so he doesn't end up ap uh, aproning it into regen. And that went really well. Now we can battlefield medicine this boy, except we're out. Oh, that's not good. But we can do this again. Oh, that's on cooldown now, though, shit. It's still not bad, though. Still decent. Ah, uh, no weaken, though. Okay, probably don't need to stress heal. Can't heal normally again. We do want to take a little bit of damage here, so hopefully he takes the targeted hit. Oh, wait, no, he's just gonna heal himself, isn't he? Yeah. And the bigger the blight, the better, because he's only gonna turn it into the single regen anyway, so yeah, that's perfect. Pretty big mace bash, huge crit chance. Stupendous. We're kicking the shit out of this guy. This is incredible. This is a fucking death star, dude. He's dead. He's gone. GG. Beautiful. Mastery points, spiked skull cap. That ain't bad. Well done, squad. The loathing whispers. We got a couple ticks of loathing there too. Outstanding. I like this. Cool. And then, can we find a serrated item? Oh wait, we don't need that for this thing. That's right. We need the bone saw. The bone saws are their money. So is the blood. Let me 
pull the leeches up, but not off. Let's see here. The fog is parted. Our way is made clear. Oh, that's right. Yeah, we gotta hang a left. I forgot. Don't have a choice here. Gotta go to the lair. The fanatics feed themselves to the fire. Their flesh melting like candle wax. Really screwing us over with the loathing on the way, unfortunately. That is a huge bummer. In fact, I'm pretty sure that's a guaranteed loathing. Or a guaranteed maxed out loathing. No matter what we do. That is uh, real shitty. You need a sub for that one there, Skill. Let me help you out with that. Let me get that sorted out. This fight will clear it, but we're going to have three, I think, maybe even four more loathing nodes immediately after this that are uh, unmissable, unfortunately. Excellent work. Taunt time. Probably an early battlefield medicine here, too, yeah. Especially if he bleeds again. A bit of regen for safety. Hand of Light gonna do some big work here, too. Be able to weaken the crits. Anarchy, lad! Keep the bear hugs coming for him for 27 months on the pile. You load the sea. Very good. I sure do. Ooh, nice shot there for the acid rain. Another giant heal. Lovely hand of light time. Clear the block plus and get a couple of weakens along with the strength. And for her, really good. Really, really good. Man, they're dead as hell. A breakthrough. Two turns. This guy's gone. Oh, wait. No, he needs a little bit more, doesn't he? Yeah. Uh, the tiniest bit more. Let's get it done then. Try anyway. Nah, eh, great time. The fiend's strength dwindles. There it is. Still got a weakened crit here. Should be fine. Good. Probably gonna get the battlefield medicine in there next. Probably gonna get some stress heal soon as well. Crit for 30. Sheesh. Beast mode. There is comfort in company. Alright, we're healing up. Still stealth. Still you doing it. An invariable result. Can begin. Stealth has been doing work too, man. I love it. All set. Another hand of light. Keep him weak. This team is crushing it. I am so satisfied with this. This is what I've needed, man. Oh, that'll help too. Thank you very much. The Jinx vulnerable. Holy shit. Feels so good. Yeah, this is the squad I've been missing for sure. This is a good time. Both down. Let's go. And a light double kill. Double crit at that. But effective. Excellent. Ah, oh, no mastery though, darn. Snap judgment though. Hmm. How's our speed looking on this squad? The loathing whispers. That's an interesting option for the plague doctor, isn't it? Oh boy. I think I'll go with that, dude. That's fun. That is a lot of fun. And yeah, that's probably good. All right. I'm gonna go left. So yeah, we're gonna go one, two, three. Instant loathing. That's just a super unlucky draw. The loathing festers. Nothing we can do about it. Yeah, managed to avoid it all the way up till now, and then it forces our hand with the lair position. That's a damn shame. Well, at least it means no repair fight here. Oh yeah, we can save ourselves some bobbles later on too. That seems like a decent idea. Let's do that. 
The loathing howls. And to the left. Though decidedly inconvenient. At least we know what's coming. Decidedly. I mean, that's the perfect waner for this situation. Yeah. That's exactly right. It sure sucks. Consumes. But at least we know what's coming. Again, the devil you do, etc., etc. Bear, have you looked at Pacific Drive at all? I'm going to play that tomorrow. 100%. I'm going to check that out tomorrow. It looks very interesting, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to key for it, too, so it makes it even easier for me to want to do it. Man, I am poor. I don't think I can actually afford the Torchlight or the Relics here. I think i got to take the fucking fight. Not a great fight, either. No stun? It's nice at least, okay. Our taunt going. We're gonna need a little stress heal. That's better. And the light looking really good here. They just got it all covered, man. It's so satisfying to have a team who in sequence just address bing bang boom pow every single issue that we have. Not to mention the Jinx has obviously been doing a ton of work here, too. Oh my goodness, and she is gone. That crit ain't even coming in. Blinded here, too. Miss it. Oh my god, that feels so good! And he's blinded again from the, the Jinx! Next. Oh, I love it so much. I love it so very, very much. All oh, right, she's going to take the additional damage when not stealth, though, right? Yeah, I'm going to be careful about that. So let's blind him. Or try, anyway. Ow. Come on, now. I'm just being mean. Well, I got the solution there, don't we? Oh, we? A little help, impeccably timed. A crit heal at that. Get the taunt back up. Oh, we're, we're back. A minor lapse in judgment. That's it. That's it. Bonk Vestal seems much stronger than Heal Vestal. Bonk Vestal has absolutely proven herself to be more worthy of consideration than I had initially realized. A simple variable. Easily resolved. I mean, sheesh. 15 to 20, and that's not even the best she can do. Her on a bad day. There's another fully healed flagellant. Excellent work. Yet again, another clean, easy battle. The one pleasant in the extreme. This work is noble. Nah. Not necessary. Scribblings are fun, but I definitely prefer the snap judgment on the plague doctor right now. Alright, man. Here the we void go. has rendered reality once more. A psychic onslaught awaits. It's time. I've been feeling pretty damn good about the squad up to this point. Certainly they can handle a librarian, right? Ain't gonna be no thing. Let's check our combat items right before here. Let's swap off the mag rain. In favor of something like emboldening vapors? Maybe blinding gas? I doubt I'm really going to use those all that much. It's almost certainly just going to be blights on blights on blights. And combat items. We got linseed oil, actually, pretty good for this. Death cap spores are definitely a good choice, too. I take the adrenaline tonic and then I'll get the Icker Bomb here as well. Sounds good. Cause of death, she's rank four, right? So unlikely to get an opportunity. I guess I might as well equip it. We'll see. We'll see if maybe I happen on a chance. The ah, why? And with it, the remains of oh, philosophy. Jesus, dude. Reason. 
end in sight. That's a nasty shovel to start with. God damn. All right. Regen at least. I just said she's rank four. Yeah, aren't you listening? This is no time to falter. I do think these guys move. At least, from what I remember, I think they'll move forward. Okay, yeah, so we're fine. Very unlikely that's going to get to the front. The enemy weakens and wanes. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and consecrate here too. Yeah. Seems wise. Taunt going. I just harvest this until they fall to frickin' pieces, velvet revolver style. Malaise, measured and steady. Every time I am in the sprawl, you know I'll fill the library. Had better. Also had worse. Nope. Yeah, it's starting to get a little sketchy. Getting a little bit too close. So got a full turn damage coming up. Don't block plus anymore either. Hopefully, don't whiff on this. Far from a whiff. Yeah, that'll do it. Sick. All right, see ya. A slow dissection. See ya. An unavoidable end. Indeed, Wayne. Moving on. Oh, hi. Deja vu. A breakthrough. It's a much easier version, though. Especially without a shuffle. That is a named enemy, isn't it? Yeah. That is our good friend, Masterful Kinred. What can we learn upon closer inspection? Which explains his immediate infernal taskmaster. Noted. Alright, giant blight back there already. No bleed here either, nice. We've already essentially taken care of this. This this team is popping the fuck off. Steady yourself. Make sure we don't get too greedy here, though. Just want to make damn sure he's gone. A promising development. And that'll do it. We'll fade to black action for masterful Kinred. Up there, AO9. Well, deadly all the same. Thanks for the 14 months. Welcome back in. I'm gonna need you to go the wrong way for me. Bully the game. That could be fun. There's a secret hidden boss at the beginning of Region 1. It's like Toe Jam and Earl if you turn around and go down through a hole at the bottom left corner of the map. to fight evil enemy hot tub. And die. And it'll do it. Big bonk. Big bonk. Beautiful. Do want to get in one more little heal here, though. That's perfect. Nice. Oh, that is absolutely perfect. Feels very, very good. All right, we are good to go, dude. One more stress heal from that. I don't think I can stress heal from anything else. Jackson is already zero stress, right? Yes, yeah, so we're good. Let's do it. Ooh, the complete catalog and a big pig and a royal summons. Oh, shit. Good loot, too. Let's just get the kill, he hopefully. Upon his ladder. 
reveling in the fiery destruction of human accomplishments. All right, no need to taunt early on here. Just really hoping that we can land as much blind as possible while we're using, using our death cap scores right away. Reduce the DOT resistance and also remove the death armor. With Sal! Bear hugs for him. Keep him coming, please, for the brand new sub with Twitch Prime. Appreciate it. Welcome onto the pile. And the light resist is zero. That is perfect. Very good start here. Let's go ahead and consecrate. I don't think we need to do that, actually. I think we can regen right away. Pretty happy with that. I guess an additional taunt there would have been pretty helpful, huh? Yeah, because now it's going to be this, but that's convenient. Here comes the categorize, though? Apparently not. Okay. It's kind of weird. I appreciate this, though. Thank you. Holy. Ooh, that's good. Here's the page burner. Perfect. Here comes the big AoE hit. Nice dodge there again. Now I can handle light happily. Turn the strength onto myself. There's the categorize. Okay. It's not a big deal. Ooh. Unfortunate. Okay. Hmm. Kind of tempted to harvest here because I don't want to put the Plague Doctor in rank, rank two. Bleed resist is low. Okay. Here we go. Ooh, cause of death. Nah, that's only ten. Damn dodges, dude. Let's clear a blind. And then... Yeah, do that again. Land of the blind there, too. Let's go. Holy shit. Let's do this. There we go. I'm going to make a better cause of death, huh? No problem. Harvest again. Absolutely. Bad shape, dude. Oh, that's even better. Let's go. Jinx combo, too. Boy, we are stomping the yard. He was not ready for this. A breakthrough. Another freaking blight. Let's go. That still doesn't even need to do anything here, man. Incremental. But deadly all the same. He's just cheering him on. Death's door. Death blow, more like. I didn't even realize. Yeah, we took off the death armor, too. Goodness. That was easy. Let's go. The loathing abates. Lots of unnecessary loot. Chester. What are you doing? I don't think we're going to use this, are we? Yeah. Not the play today. Okay. Can probably get rid of those now. Outstanding. Wow. That was friggin' terrific. This might actually be the team. We still have that capped out loathing to deal with. Let's get through this elite batch first, but. Feeling good. Yay. Love you. This is weirdly not that alarming. Should be. Probably should have healed him. Probably should stress heal too, actually. Yeah, let's not get let's not get too confident. Not totally immune to danger here. A simple kindness. Definitely want to get that regen going. I don't even know if I want to upgrade that. I feel like it's better than a lot of other options we got right the now. The enemy weakens and wanes. I don't think I need to do this though. So. Well done. Wow, that's really good. My goodness. 
kill it. Ah, we're gonna try. He's a lot healthier now. I mean, we'll get the stress heal coming up. Three and five off a hand of light with the weakened tokens. Jesus. Jesus. And there it helps. Less DOT. Stress heal time. Big old chunk. There's a big old chunk, okay. One more taunt here. The harvest is looking exceptional as well. Might even try for the blight grenade there. I don't want to get regen or uh, reposted though, but yeah, give it a shot. Zero meltdowns this run. No, we've had very good relationships pretty much the entire time. Death blow. Another impediment. Cleared with impunity. Standing. Another tiny blight, no big deal. Try the blind there. Alright, let's see if I can top anybody off by the end of this. Not looking like it. Yeah, good enough. Straightforward. Yeah, it'll work. And effective. Oh, I really thought we were gonna see death there for a sec. Oh. Huh. That's pretty good. What is he rocking right now? Doesn't he have one of the dark impulse things going on? No, it's the skull cap. This is better. That's definitely better. I should swap to endure now, too. Cool. Okay. I don't think I need that. All right. One last obstacle. I think I'm more confident about this fight right now than I have been in a long, long time. Let's kick his ass. Need it. A parody you need to deliver a good ass kicking. It must be destroyed. There you go, buddy. All right. As is tradition now. We are going to start out by trying to kill the altar. Definitely get our taunt going first. Right there, right there. There you go, buddy. Like the regen here. Mm, let's do an encore blight. That ought to be very effective against this guy. All of our taunt gone. Kind of want to heal him a little bit too. Yeah, I mean, we want to try that here. I think the odds of us being able to kill him before he takes his first action are basically zero, so might as well do that. Welcome relief from caustic agony. It's bone weaving, which is not a problem. There it is, okay. Sometimes it's just too quick, I guess. The regen's pretty rough too. here and then let's do this this is gonna oh wait no here let's do this oh wow yeah that's outstanding good stuff we'll take the hit there because we're full healing anyway still got a taunt ready that sucks holy christ he did not waste any time doing some optimal plays today man sheesh a master stroke oh i thought that would hit this guy for some reason yeah that's not the case Instant crit, too. Wow, okay. Um, he blinded again. This is really our only solace from that. Alrighty. Miss it. Nice. That's pretty big. There's the cowardice thing again, right? That's huge. Oh, boy. Great. Great turn there, not to mention the combo. Additional blight apply, get the dodge plus there too, and then all of a sudden we got a big old bonk. A brilliant conclusion. 30 damage, mace bash, let's go. Even more blight. The fiend's strength dwindles. Ooh, he's hurt. 
Ooh, he's hurting real bad. Malaise. Measured and steady. You're fucking worse, man. Keep knocking us back. I don't give a damn. Shuffle us around to your heart's content, my friend. It ain't no thing. Another blind. He is very nearly dead store still. The regen's really not going to matter much at all. Feels wonderful. <laughs> God. That is not always the case. And there's yet another missed attack. Jeez, dude. Um, I guess I should do this. This is definitely the safer play. Agony by accumulation. I don't have any execute here, do I? So let's just do this too, I guess. Oh, right. That was dumb. That did be brought back up. That's another death armor. Oh, he's off death's door still, too. He should. Well, that'll fix it. Weaken, blinded. No more regen. We good. We good. Bye bye. Woo! Back to full. <laughs> From zero to full by the end of the battle. That is incredible. Greater Wolf's Blood for the plus six speed to Temptation. Oh, shit. Just when we thought it was at its peak potential. I'm going to drop the Temptation on me. Oh, baby. You know what? Extreme Greed. Extreme greed. Oh my god. This is just silly. Let's do it. This has got to be the best team we've put together by this point in the Bastard's Beak in Chapter 5 attempts. I still don't have too much hope. But I got a little bit. You can't, you can't even see... It's like, it looks as though I'm holding, it looks as though I'm pressing my fingers together. But there's just a little smidge in the there. heart does much for the weary body. We got that. Even more, perhaps, for the restless soul. Oh, also, apparently we have syphilis. Oh, no, we don't. Never mind. Yay. All roads lead to the mountain, but only one leads beyond it. Right, so I suppose making bandages could actually be pretty helpful here, but I need to create space first, I suppose. The roads are rife with peril. A little protection is always welcome. Um, do we have any negative quirks I need to get rid of at this point? Selfish and flawed release. They're pretty bad. Let me get rid of that guy. I'm gonna get him the flapjacks. Yo, the playing cards and the big pig, which are more than likely enough to nearly cap us out on everybody. Let's look around here and see where we're at. So it's going to be Flagellant Plague Doctor, and that's basically it. I think this is going to cap us out. Very, very close. Two more Precious relics remind us of whiskeys. a time before the end. Two more whiskeys will do it. Vestal Flagellant, Ve or uh, Plague Doctor Flagellant. Hell yeah. Wow. That is awesome. Planning and mindfulness. As vital to survival as sharpened steel. Now, looking toward... Additional benefits here. Let's see. I'm gonna pop the holy hymnal, of course. An additional 25% max HP with consecration for everybody. That's pretty sick. Flagellant did lose Jinx, unfortunately. Yeah, kind of expected that. A little sanguine, which is nice, but yeah, it could be better. Sweet. Okay. We want speed on the Plague Doctor more than anything. So we're going to try to get that here. 
We have a stimulating poultice, and that is exactly what we need. But we would like to get it up above 12, if possible. So let's try the holy beads again. Let's just do that one at a time until hopefully we get it. So let's do that. Something to ease the rigors of the road. There it is. Nice. Starting out at 12 speed. So she's immediately getting both of those benefits. That is terrific. She's just going to get even faster. Now nah, we can lock in Jinx and get a chance. However painful is the greatest teacher of all. Would have been nice, but no luck. Uh, endure makes sense now that we have that other... Oh, no, no, no. We took that off, didn't we? No, we kept that. Okay, so we could upgrade this still. I don't think that's the play, though. I think we do Acid Rain. Sepsis? Sepsis could be a good way to kill the Cherubs. As I imagine, we're going to be piling a ton of Blight on with... Oh, we can't reach the back rank with Sepsis. Why? Man, that sucks. Um, okay. Oh, yeah, we should do this. Because we have the hymnal. So we want to be consecrating a lot. Plus one use with sepsis upgrade? That's nice. I don't see us using that three times, though. It's probably... Probably Encore, actually. I think this makes the most sense. Yeah, that works. Okay. Insane amount of Nightshade concoction. I have no idea how we got all this, but I'll take it. That's pretty dope. Big-ass Death's Door buff for everybody. And now... Now it's worthwhile, actually, to consider the possible additional HP from the Reanimated Rabbit. We're getting 8, 10, 11, 12, 13. Ah, we can't quite get it. All right, never mind. I guess we might as well use the herbs. We'll get the other holy beads here, too. And then definitely want the glimmers. Crow's feet are pretty good. Final combat items here. I'm thinking probably Warhorn Stimulants. Adrenaline tonic. And then I suppose Acre Bomb? Maybe invigorating. Kind of doubt it, though. Yeah, this is good for long fights, especially good for the Flagellant, obviously. It's not amazing. I guess I might as well buy him, though. I already got the relics. We could use a stitching kit here, too, couldn't we? Yeah, I could patch up the... Jester real fast. What is the worst negative quirk we've got? Definitely selfish. Let's see if I can get rid of selfish real quick. All right. She got a lot of buffs. Nice. Good chance at a dodge token for her. Okay. That's pretty good. I'm not going to use any of this last stagecoach gear available. No need for any of those trinkets. Might as well get one more glimmer. And yeah, one more laudanum, too. Yeah, that works. All right, y'all. You know what time it is. Get them bear rolls going. As we reach the foot of the mountain once more. With what is easily our best shot at actually doing this. Hopefully we can make it happen today. Ooh, and that ain't bad. Hand of light stress heal, fade to black stress heal. Razor's wit heals. Punish adds a dodge plus. Noxious Blast Stress Heal and Divine Comfort Stress Heal. Where? Well, at least not going to be stressed out. Oh, hopefully anyway. Never know. At last, the great cigarette. 
temple of failure and regret. Oh, certainly not stressed out now, at the very least. Duncan healing up. Everybody feeling pretty good. Let's do it, man. I'm ready. Definitely feels fantastic to be in perfect health coming into this moment. Here, at the nexus of ruin, loathing poured forth from the darkest recesses of your mind. Your failures took form, and the world bowed in honor of your great wretchedness. The stain of your bankruptcy frayed the very fabric of our dimension. But you were afraid to face what you had wrought, and fled down the long road of your memories, hiding yourself away. It's been fascinating watching the odds shift that's happened with the Bastards Beacon Runs. It's really fun, yeah, like, I've said it multiple times, but this is an injection of difficulty that I did not realize I was so open to, and I've, I've been enjoying it a lot. It's been difficult. But I appreciate that this challenge exists, and I am looking forward to hopefully finally conquering it. Oh, baby. Instant extra action. That's a good time. Alright, so the altar died. <laughs> Complete catalog crit burns, too, man. Holy cow. I love it. little acid rain in there. See ya. Nah, that's unfortunate. Uh, let's see here. Might as well use these. And the light will heal him again. Standing. Big old blight. Crit machine back there, dude. Alright, that's unfortunate. Are a stealthy bitch. Absolutely. I'm liking it a lot. Oh, there's a little crit burn for you. Outstanding. Can't taunt there. But we can't do that. Compassion quiet the howling Take that immobilize from you. Ooh, we should we should consider setting up the toxic. Actually, oh my god, yeah, absolutely should do that. The key. We gotta get hyper toxic going, man. We're sacrificing the entirety of our relationship. With everybody. He wants to be mad. He wants to be an angry flash. Holy cow. Blinded, weakened, you ain't got shit. You ain't got shit. Get out of here. Goodbye. Goodbye. Moving on. Outstanding. Flawless execution. Bear roll to victory. Look at them. They're matching outfits, too, dude. This team's got the drip. Let's go. Get those glimmers equipped here. Can use pretty much everything else that we got. Oh, I didn't realize we were stacking a lot of them across two people. That's kind of silly. There you go, buddy. I don't even know if I'm going to have three rounds to use the lot of them. There we go. Oh, wow, that triple burn start. That's fun. Okay, let's see. I don't think this actually matters, but, you know, days, sure. That'll work. Yeesh, almost a massive flight to begin. Taunt right away. A master stroke. Another double action there, sadly. Oh, wait, yeah, it is nice. Oh, no, right, yeah, I didn't want to do that either. I forgot immediately. Oh, well. God damn, what the crits? Miss it. Hoo, hoo, hoo. This is what you like to see. Get the glimmers going. Max out our torch light. Get our taunt up up front. Kill these two before they're able to worship. Y'all ain't got nothing on these guys. This team is too good. Goodbye. That's, that's the worst of it, I suppose, which just means he's got more targets for Endure. 
which I think you can still do from the back. Guess we'll find out. I suppose I could just endure even without anybody having stress, too. Lenity. But it would be nice to bring them all down to zero. That drive back the darkness. Okay, so we need a little bit more help up front. I'll certainly provide. It's death's door, unfortunately, only, though, but... Yeah, not gonna be able to fix it, sadly. Empowered. Empowered. Oh, never mind. All right, yeah, this won't have the DOT anymore, though. I forgot shit. Oh, well. Hey, Sin. Yeah, we're doing real good this time around. You're just in time to hopefully see us finally conquer this shit. I'm gonna get through this, though. Let's go ahead and move front. Or move to the front again. Make sure we're not being too foolish here. Yeah, let's do this. Make damn sure you go down. Excellent. And let's... Oh, man. The fact that you can do an extra turn into a harb... Or... Extra turn into an encore. God damn, that's nice. Taunt going here, and then we're gonna have to get our glimmer at the end here, too. Can't forget about that. We need to move now. Glimmer. There's our maxed out torch light. Outstanding. And then we can still do this, can't we? Yeah. Get that dodge plus up front as well. And then another. Oh, a crit too. Wow. Coming from the consecration, huh? Owie. That's going to need to be an indiscriminate science, I think. A brilliant but that's fun. I still want to endure here too, don't I? Actually, you know what? We don't need that. Malaise. He's fine. And steady. I think I regret my choice immediately. Wine, please. I've got, I've, I've got to keep my mind on the on the on the prize here, Andy. I think you got that covered. All right, we'll go ahead and defend you, I guess. He's got the biggest mace bash in the world just waiting, and I just can't do it. Ooh, that's nice. Yeah, let's do this. This road cannot be walked alone. He is a little bit low, isn't he? Can we regen again? Not quite. He's just going to move again. Don't do a hollow. Okay. Well, do a hollow, but just don't target anybody else with it. We're really getting at. Uh, encore heal. No, Encore move, but that might still be okay. Fight through the be able to heal the... Ah, oh, never mind. I was going to say heal the days off, but that works too. Oh, brother, this is going to hurt. This is going to hurt. Oh, yeah. The fiend's strength dwindles. We can once more. I'm really hoping to sneak in. Oh, wait, no. He's... Oh, this is beautiful. This is perfect, dude. Right before we get into our final combat. Flagellant at eight stress. Toxic ready. Bear rolls ready. Last skill check here, which I don't think we need to adjust much. We'll go for our combat items as well. Let's go for this on you. Actually, we're probably going to give this to the, to the Plague Doctor so she can apply it to the Flagellant before he needs it. Warhorn. Stimulants. Crow's Feet. Works for me. Oh, no. Adrenaline tonic. Yeah, that's a good safety measure. Keep the food. Dump the rest. I remember our first meeting on the steps of the university. You were golden. Lit from within by the glow of potential. Finally, my friend. I would see that potential realized. It is time to reclaim the world from your weakness. Meet your derelictions with blazing defiance. The equation must be balanced. Balance it, we shall. I'm ready. More ready than I have ever been. Stagecoach in fantastic shape. No loathing. Very little stress outside of that which we needed. Excellent combat items. Mastered as much as we are capable. This now or never, baby. Gaze now upon your 
great achievement. The sum total of your failings. Your body of work. Type a one in the chat right now if you think we got this W in the frickin' bag. Or type a two if you're a nasty, no good doubter. The carious guck of the coward. Right with pop with pusillanimity. That's allowed too, but. Just letting you know. You're in for some pain. Much like these guys. Alright, he does have the massive blight resistance. Unfortunately. Still a possibility. Also, absolutely want to get our taunt going here so we can toxic him as well. Can be bled, though. Thankfully, can be bled pretty well. So we will rely heavily on that. This very well be a, maybe a toxic trigger right away. Indeed, it is. Outstanding. Of course, these are going to carry over between rounds here as well, so it's definitely a very good thing to get this going early. Let's go ahead and regen. I'm cool with that. Let's see. Yet another crit. Let's go. Good blight chance. Pretty solid. Steady yourself. Bear, if you had the ability to become an Eldritch God, would you build yourself something like this? This is me. Yeah, no, absolutely. No notes. God, I love that. Okay. Mobilized Vestal certainly works well. The enemy weakens and wanes. Let's keep on bleeding. Let's go for the weaken here. Should have a nice mace bash coming up. Oh! For who knows what lurks in the Holy. Okay, thank you, Stealth. There's all the gastric juices. Jesus Christ. That seems pretty good. Yeah, we can do that. Dragged back Ooh. from the bridge. There she goes. She's back. Okay. Not too bad. I might want to stress heal that, actually. Definitely got to get our taunt back up. I got to be doing that more often, actually. Much, much more often. In fact, I might even want to encore that. Well, I guess it's not going to reduce the cooldown, is it? Yeah. Maybe not. Big strength and bash? That seems pretty good to me. Measure Bit of a waste of a stimulants there, but... Apply it judiciously. It's a safe play. I think I like that. I really need to pay attention to if I'm taking the one damage. Did anyone happen to notice just then? If the Jester took the one damage, indicating that he's got the bonus action or not? Because that is going to make a difference for what I decide to do here. I think I should probably stress heal regardless, even if I only have the one move. Yeah, let's just do that. That's for the best. Okay, no bonus action that time. Still don't need to do this. Sadly not landing a ton of those blights so far. Oh, we need to Consecrate. Yeah, absolutely. Why haven't I been doing this yet? Gotta get them their bonus HP. Hopefully we can taunt again soon here. I think the Encore should allow us to taunt now. Let's go for this as well. Get a Dodge Plus going. Sadly, still no Blight. Ooh, we got a crit. I really got to watch for the damage. I think I do this. No, I think I Encore for the Taunt. I'm pretty sure that's the play, yeah. Glad we upgraded Encore, too. I think that's going to make a big difference here. I did 92 damage. To one character. Jesus Christ. 
Oh my god. Okay. Oh no, don't just kill him right away. Thank goodness. I can't encore again either though, fuck. Be blind. I landed that, but he's still gonna survive one. That was risky, holy shit. Well we know we're gonna get a big heal off that. Okay. Now a battlefield medicine? That's pretty good. He's got the black plus now though, he's probably gonna taunt again. We could just blight. His resistance is pretty high still though. I gotta keep in mind I gotta try not to use these early if we can though. It's critical that we have some of those saved for later. Should probably go ahead and regen. Agony by accumulation. That's terrible. That yeah, might have to be one. Yeah, we're doing our taunt again here. Dodge plus and a block plus, so that bodes well. Until they go away, I guess. I wanted to trigger that toxic pretty soon, too. Okay. I think I need to heal this blight. I think it's too bad. Not wise to let that continue. Although, ah, oh boy, really? Okay, yeah, that's actually it's a fair argument there, Vestal. You're not wrong. Especially if that's gonna happen. Yeah, that works out, doesn't it? The dazed regen is gonna be an issue, though. I have to hit him with the heal real quick. Dragged back from the brink. Okay. Get another blade, but not terrible this time. The full mace bash again. Sending a crit. Ragger taunt, unfortunate. Ah, come on, man! What the fuck? Of exculpation, he'd not be alone. Let me endure that so he can avoid the meltdown. We get another trigger of toxic here, and then he's gonna heal off the pain. Okay, that's pretty good. I think I actually need to stress heal again after that, too. God, these blights have been out of control. DOT going at least, okay. Flame weakened is nice. Landed a blight, that's big. Okay. Cool. That blight is out of control. Jesus. Okay, that was pretty good. Blight again. Bravo. Not bad. Got his taunt there. Let's do another couple. It's not a help. Once again, teetering on that terrible precipice. Ow! And he still has blight, which doesn't feel fair. He shouldn't still have blight after that move. Ooh, clutch, hopeful heal there. Wow, that was massive. Okay, we can, let's see, let's do this. In crisis, we can rely only upon each other. The chances of her dying to this next attack are very slim, especially because we still have a taunt up. Okay. All right, yeah, she's stealth too, that's good. High enough crit chance here, but no, nah, it's not going to make a difference. Lethality writ large. Weakened again is nice. Okay. 
be a lot worse. your violence and apply it judiciously. Nah, I don't move back. Need to deal two damage. Do I remove the DOT here though? Yes. A little help. And cross my freaking time. fingers. That's a meltdown. I know I could endure, I guess, couldn't I? Yeah, it's not terrible. He's gonna die to the bleed. He's gonna pass turn heal, which is not bad. Okay. Okay. That did not go nearly as well as I hoped it would. Its infernal gaze pierces the veil of reality. That was rough. still so bad. This is, this is crazy. I need to save my battlefield medicine so badly, too. I really can't afford to be using this here. Just need the heals I can get. Ah, fuck you! God damn it. Don't die to one blight damage, buddy, please. This is no time to falter. Nice move, resist at least. Let's get the taunts going now. I don't think it's going to be enough, though. Come on, please. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Holy shit. Oh, God. Um, I think I have to pass heal, dude. Traveled, trapped, held captive by fear. And then he gets a nice indiscriminate after that, but that's going to have to be after the encore. A slow dissection. An unavoidable end. Thankfully, the blight resist is very low now. We could do this, too, actually. That's a pretty good idea. Until she does, or until he does that, and then I'm not feeling so good anymore. Still have our taunt up. God damn it! I hate the shuffle in this fight, man. It screws you over so fucking much. That'll okay. That's really good though, because that razor's what is going to mean we change or no, we don't change position because he's fucking immobilized too. Ah. That's fine, it's just a toxic. That's helpful, actually. He's stunned back there, too, though. Fucking hell. I despise the fact that you cannot move one beyond an immobilized token. I get it, I guess, but I still fucking hate it. Gonna need a moment here. I'm really gonna need a moment for the time when the game decided to award me a 10% extra action chance in the instance in which it is the least helpful. In fact, is, the, uh, is, is detrimental forces a goddamn meltdown. Thanks, game! This is already pretty easy, so I'm glad you're adding some extra challenges. Uh, I fucking hate this fight. It's not fun anymore, this sucks. Perhaps they have given their last. 
Oh, this sucks so much. Such a fucking pain in the ass, you stupid giant eyeball asshole. How does this always fucking happen? Not one blind, all right. Uh, at least she gets to heal from that one. It's unreal to me. Obviously, the movement and the shuffling is a thing, right? I get that. I get that that's a component of this. What isn't guaranteed, and in fact just seems insanely unlikely, is for him to shuffle you and then immobilize you to the extent that there's nothing you can do about it. And the fact that this is the third time that this has happened! It's scripted, man! I hate this fight now. I detest this fight. Again, teetering on that terrible precipice. That was helpful. That felt like that felt like a bit of a Hey Bear, I'm sorry for fucking you over so much moment. But then they just fucked me over more. Well I can move her at least. is the key. Uh. The salt is flowing. I'm gonna try for a resolute, I guess. Just nonsense. This is no time to falter. Thank God he didn't get knocked back again. But he is still stunned. Well, that's nice at least. Okay. Back to the correct positions. Self-reliance is a rare and wonderful thing. Block plus coming up clutch. Okay. Cannot taunt here. But can do this. A small reprieve from this carousel of horrors. And then we'll pass turn heal. Yes, yeah, so we just try to blind again. Unlucky. Here's our encore though. That should be a nice oh, that's on cooldown. That's on cooldown. Core doesn't reduce it. Malaise, boy. Measured and steady. Hey, we got a toxic blade. Empowered, emboldened. Hooray! Okay. Another taunt back. He's got a lot of death store resist. He just nearly died to temptation. That's cool. <laughs> ah. Hey, that's good. Okay. Oh my God. Pain. Incessant pain. Fellowship forged through toil. Never ends. If you're doing this, it's just gonna hurt, Bear. You know that by now. Okay, pass heal. That's good. Thanks, Temptation. Light is piling up now too. That's nice. A master stroke. One for damage crit with the burn. 
mobilized in the third rank. Okay. Holy shit. Holy shit, we made it. I can't believe it, but we made it to the third phase. With zero battlefield medicine, unfortunately. Here we go. God upon his throne. Your failures made flesh. No heals to start with. see here we might as well toot while we can huh toot. I believe I should attempt to pile on the blight and we'll do so here okay and then like a fade to black to try to control the amount of DOT these guys are able to apply. Keep that coming. I think a mace bash is gonna do work on this guy. That feels pretty good. That is exactly the move I do not want to see. Ooh, that's good. That's a nice little heal right there. I like that a lot. She cannot attack. That sucks. That's very nice. Okay. Good miss there. Nice little heal off Razor's Wit as well. Let's keep the Acid Rain coming. Alright, he's basically dead. We're doing fine here. Okay. Don't you give me hope now, game. That's more like it. There you go. <laughs> that was fast. Ah, oh, shit. Encore. Plague grenade. Maybe just an encore. Well, the more that we can just indiscriminate science heal for a big amount the better. Especially to keep people off death's door here. Probably want to get another one in there soon too, but let's talk for now. Almost certainly dead to the blight there. Oh, come on. Good lord. Goddamn skill blocks. I think I need to free up the plague doctor as early as we can to make sure she's able to heal. DOT is going to trickle away real quick. All right, yeah, let's go Plague Doc here. Back to the front so she can hit every position. And then we can Stress Heal, sure. Cool. He is on Death's Door coming up, though. That's not great. All right, here we go, lady. Well, actually, I think it's going to be better for him to do it, isn't it? Yeah. Especially because he has Toxic. Face your fears. Of course, that's the only thing he fears. Fear itself. Relief comes rarely in these times. Just need every little bit I can there, I guess. She's still weirdly doing okay. A master stroke. Nice burn on him, too. I like that a lot. Okay. I actually think it's probably going to be fine if we just keep taunting here, because he should be toxic from this, right? Yeah. Yeah, the Blight's going to crush him. We we'll probably get another toxic, actually. Blind the shit out of this guy. Eh, combo might help. He doesn't have immunity, he just has an immense amount of resistance. That's weird. I 
Okay, he's looking good. Probably gonna get another Toxic here. We might actually get the perfectly timed Toxic here, which would be outstanding. Let's get some Blight on him, too. Why not? Oh, yeah, sure. That's a thing you can do. I forgot. Great time for regen, though, dude. Okay, that should be fine, because we're getting the Toxic off of that. Yep, that's all good. He's dead to the Blight. I don't think we need to do much else here, do we? Yeah, he's gone. Big self heal coming for the Flagellant here, too. Was another Blight for the boy? Or not Blight, a Blind, but not that time. Um, I actually think I should Encore again, but let's keep it just in case I need that for a heal. The past is gone. This Exaltation! Really an echo. One down, one boy set free. And the taunts has been restored. We fixed the flagellant. And that's pretty big. Alright, now just to keep everybody off that store. In fact, here, let's do this. The faster the Samsara dies, the better. Perfect. Unfortunate on the toxic there. Make sure we're keeping our taunts ready. Crit for 18. Quite nice. Big burn there, too. And that's a two turn timer. Goddamn. Oh! Teetering on that terrible. Hello. Alright, good dodge there, at least. Not too bad on the DOT. It's punishing at another. Dodge plus in the back there. I think the more blinds we can get on that boy, the better. We've already taken a big chunk out of him. Obviously, the Samsara helped that, but. Or not the Samsara, the. Uh, Fellowship forged the toy. Consecration or whatever it is. Let's forget the names of all those fancy things. There we go. DLT's enough there. Another dodge of the empty vessel's huge. Sadly, that doesn't mean the Jester's in really bad shape now, though. Exaltation, there's one. Thank you. That's what I was forgetting. Okay, so... Oh, Consecration's this. Right, this is what we need. Maybe you can get some dodge plus in the back there. Some total of Bro! Unfavorably rounded down. Oh, that sucks. The DOT immediately in the t into the temptation one damage. I mean, that's the risk we run. I can't be too mad at that. Now he went to death store off of the uh, damage over time and then immediately died to the one damage from temptation. Yeah, that, that can happen. That's what can happen with that. Okay, we really got to kill this guy before he can bring his boy back. Not gonna help us do it. Fuck. Cooperation is the key. Let's do this so we can get some stronger acid rain going. We need to talk again. That's a really convenient hit there. Apparently triggered death's door. I didn't realize that, but okay. That would have been a really shitty way to die. God, he fucking brought him back immediately. Come on, man. That should help. That's nice. An unavoidable end. That's the bonus action we're looking for. Thank you very much, game. Okay. That is helpful. That is not. Oh, that is especially not. God damn, that sucks. Okay. Yeah, that's going to need a lot of taunting. Hmm. I like the taunt from him. That's kind of weird, but okay. Move. All right, probably the plague doctor coming up next here for the for the option. Let's see if we can. Yeah, I think it's worth it to heal. That is it. No, it's a huge waste of a blight, unfortunately. That horror is not too bad. Yeah, let's face that failure, baby. Likely got another toxic on our way. Oh, regen time. Yeah, that's nice. All right, I believe the Vesta will be up here. 
She has got the fully empowered Mace Bash ready to go. And there's another heal, I guess. Uh, yeah, gonna have to be. More than likely got another Toxic on the way here, too. Once again, teetering on that terrible precipice. Huh. Another wound. Another loss. That's obnoxious. I was feeling pretty good about that. Spiritual torment has no place in the compassionate mind. It must be purged. I don't think it was the wrong heal. I think it was the right heal. I think it was just unfortunate. I think it was safe to bank on the death door there. We were getting a massive heal for the flagellant if he had survived that. It was a risk, but I'm pretty sure I would have made that play again. Well. Still a chance. If we can manage to pile on enough blight in the back real quickly. If we can just get lucky with this. Oh, right. Yeah, she can't target that anymore. Oh, I think that is probably it then. I can't target the back line. The only way I'd be able to do it is if I moved back now and got really, really lucky with two play grenades. So our only play now is to attempt to deal 471 damage. <laughs> Let's give it a shot. See what we can do. You never know, dude. I'm gonna get a little resolute here. Although, this is a meltdown. Yeah, that's probably it. That's probably a GG. Man, I'm trying to make quick work of her, huh? Sheesh. I don't know how much we can do there. Crit burns could help too, but... She too little, too death, late. But could not defy it. This made me so salty today, man. I was feeling so good about this team. And then phase two, the full immobilization, just absolutely wrecked us. And we were doing good here too. Like we had a pretty solid shot at this, especially if the Flagellant had survived this, I think we would be winning this fight. Just a couple too many unfortunate instances. Good try. All three phases are pretty brutal, man. The first phase, the inability to really reliably hit the DOT is obviously something that's been hurting us a lot. And then that second phase mobility issue just constantly been a problem. Convictions lent some small comfort oh, in it's frustrating, moments. man. That was a good try, try though. Try and try again. You will break through this gloaming murk. That's a good waner. That's a fitting waner. Gives me a little bit of confidence, at least. Well, we did our best. Another try next time. Hopefully, we can put together the squad necessary to take this down. I think we need to think a little bit more about mobility, too, man. I think I might want a dancing squad next time around. Maybe that'll be the solution we need. For now, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Leave a like on the video if you're watching over on youtube.com slash bear taffy. Appreciate that support a lot. I'll see you in the next one.